All right, here we are at XM. Let's introduce the players. Bob Kelly sitting in for Jim Norton. Jim's going to be on Steve Dahl's show in uh, Chicago this afternoon on WCKG. Support the commercial radio stations, please. Our own Jimmy. I beg you, please. Please. And then we got, of course, Kevin Smith, who uh, couldn't get up, uh, slept in. Lucky, <laughs> lucky bastard. I'm not getting paid like you guys, so why yeah. get up? Good point, good point. If I wasn't <laughs> getting point. paid, you're right. I wouldn't be up at that ungodly hour. It's nighttime. It's still nighttime. It stays dark here. Yeah. We played uh, poker the other night till like 8 in the morning, and it only got light. At about 7.30. It turned that little blue color, and you look outside and went, uh-oh. Yeah, oh, shit. It's happening. Here. We've been doing this a while. Yeah. I, I was just in uh, Vegas, mm-hmm. and I was at a card table. I was playing poker for from 7.30 at night until 8.30 the next morning. Just You, you just don't leave. You beat me by an hour, so I went from 8 to 8. Yeah, you just... <sighs> but at least you probably have free drinks where you were. Yeah, well, it's a casino. We so. were in our comic book store. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a real it. sausage bring, party. No booze. Bring your to own. Look at, but a couple issues, fucking Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, like, Borgata babes or anything There's like that? There's none of that walking around, sir. <laughs> uh, if we wanted to see some cheesecake, you had to open up the old issue of Gen 13. <laughs> oh, my God. Things of that nature. Gen 13. <laughs> Have yeah. You, do you know Kevin Smith, Bob? No, I don't. How you doing, Kev? Rob, nice to meet you? you, man. I um, that's great. And you had a, you, so you put this on yourself at your place. And what do you have, like a buy-in or something like that? Uh, no, a buy-in would be illegal, sir. To run of a course. to run a, a poker game with a rake. We don't I like to do, do that. Do that kind of thing. This is all for fun and games. Yeah. No <laughs> profit. Just uh, the pride of winning. Because I tried to do that at my house with Norton, Quinn, Keith, and Voss, and just you know they come over. And then as soon as they come over, it's like, yeah, this game stinks. Let's play Queen, fall the Queen. And there's always somebody trying to change the game to make it go quicker. And uh, that sounds like a gay thing to me. You right. just gotta play chase the Queen. Them. Yeah, <laughs> chase <laughs> the Queen. I caught that right at the end. <laughs> what is the? What's the? Does anyone know? Is it illegal to have a poker game? I uh, see billboards in LA like the the campaign in Los Angeles is like bring your home game to our casino because it's legal, and they kind of paint it like it's illegal. Yeah, I, I I think, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe if you have a home game mm-hmm. and the house is not making money in fine, any right? way, then it's fine. If you're running a poker joint in your house and you're taking a part of the rake or right. you know there's some kind of entry fee for the game, then there's a problem. Then it could be problems. If it's just a bunch of buddies playing some cards, trading money with each other... Uh, there's not a problem with that. Where so. is the, where do you think the line is? Like if I gamble with you, if, I, if I'm like I'll bet you a hundred dollars, you won't let me drop a Roman face mask on you. All right. And they uh, you'd, and you'd and, lose that bet, my. Son. <laughs> All right, and I lose that bet, and money exchanges hands. <laughs> can, the, can the government go after us? Uh, I don't think so. No. no. No, I don't think so. God bless America. You know yeah. what? Just introduce you to Bob Kelly. Uh, he might go for that, actually. Yeah. What, a Roman face mask? <laughs> yeah, just for the goof. Why for the, Why would you give me 100 bucks? <laughs> it was free, right? <laughs> They're starting to shut down all the uh, online gaming yeah. uh, that's been going on. There's only a couple left. I know one I still play on that I'm able to deposit money into. And, uh, Can you say which one it is? Uh, well, I kind no. of have a big show. I'd rather sign not. sign language. It's me ju- here. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, w- uh, 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 two in the pink, one in the stink. I'm not quite sure what that was. <laughs> I saw fingers moving around. It's, like um, let's see. Uh, let's let's call it empty straight standing up poker. There it is, right <laughs> on. Gotcha, <laughs> <I> follow. <laughs> what a, a code! Or, isn't I should have run man, codes. Like in. that's the, that's something that you could get in trouble for. I like know, you're not going out, you're not doing uh, something bad to other people. If anything, you're doing something bad to yourself. I'm laying in bed. Uh, I'm in a little, you know, $30 buy-in room. There's nine other people there, eight other people, just playing some poker, maybe Mind winning your own fucking business. 100 it's bucks. If playing poker in your bed or jerking off, and they're going to take the poker away. The poker and next part. Step- is the jerking off. Is jerking off. off if we don't watch out and What's protect our poker. What's that old axiom like I said nothing when they came for my yes. friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then they came <laughs> for the <laughs> jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> right. So and funny. I realized there was no one left to protect me. All right, let's get right into this. We got Jerry in Texas. Uh, Jerry, what's up? Hey, guys, what's up? Hey. Bob Kelly, love you, but I got a question for Kevin Smith. 
What's up, buddy? When you, when you called in a few uh, months ago and they were asking you about the Kramer thing and the N-word in movies, mm-hmm. how come you never said anything about Clerks 2? I think we did, didn't we? I think so, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure we referenced it. Yeah, because that's the greatest racial thing I've ever heard. Great in the way of, like, yay, down with blacks, or just funny? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yay. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell a nignug is. Nignug? Yeah, that was, Nignog. I mean, you grow up in Jersey, you hear all sorts of racial epithets like yeah. that. Never, em- never employ them personally. Love to them like three three no, here unless you're in traffic. Well, we got a councilman in uh, New York, they want to ban the word. They All together. To, yeah, they want to ban the uh, N-word. The, saying the word already has its consequences. That it puts really a lot does. of black comics out of work right there. Yeah. Well, yeah. And what's his name? Paul Mooney said he's not going to use the N-word on stage anymore. Jamie Foxx was uh, Jamie coming Fox out Jamie Foxx is... Uh, now that he doesn't have to do comedy anymore and he's an Oscar-winning actor, right. uh, he's decided to. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, maybe that. I'm sure uh, he made a few, sh- sh- uh, a few bucks off the word uh, yeah. over the years with his act. That's it. I don't, don't need it. How, how often do you actually use it, though? How often do I actually use oh, it? Oh boy, you just asked let the wrong me see. Question. Wait a How minute. How long does it take to get back to Long Island? I remember, I commute now. <laughs> I commute every day. I drive myself in and out of New York City, so uh, not just uh, black racial epithets. Mm-hmm. I uh, distribute them equally among all the races. Right, right. You hit them all equally. Yeah. Opportunity offender. All of them. Uh, there are some vans that will be in the left lane. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, some kind of. Um, Asian gang sign writing cover, uh, covering the entire van with spray paint. This poor bastard's just trying to deliver something and his van is getting spray painted. He's in the left lane, maybe 45 miles an hour. And then I gotta catch up to him, look, so I can go, oh, that figures. Huh. You know, give kind of a thing because <laughs> Asians are known to be bad driver kind right. of thing. Um, t- cab drivers to me, uh, I just refer to now as savages. Right. It's I can't. T- they have no regard for anyone else on the road. None. And I don't even mean within city limits. Out on the Long Island Expressway. Again, left lane, 35, 40 miles an hour. Sometimes they're on the phone. They're the, the best is when the dome lights on at night and they're doing paperwork. They're filling out paperwork as they're driving two tons of steel down the street. And uh, in the wrong lane. Multitasking. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Well, I I have no problem. Right lane is for multitasking. (laughs) Left lane is complete concentration on driving. I'm look. I'm like a NASCAR driver. I am ten steps ahead, ten moves ahead of what I got to do. Right. And uh, if someone screws me up, I get very angry. And sometimes you don't know these people personally. I don't know what he, you know. Does at home? I can't goof on him and go, "Hey, your lawn is too long." long. Right. Just look at the cut. bags under his eyes, and you, and you just yeah. have to say something. You just kind of blurt the out. Easiest cut, cut him to right. the quick. He can't even hear you. He don't care. He's doing he his paperwork. Care. Well, you can't he, start banning words in America. That's what I'm getting at. I hear you. These people yeah. are so stupid. Don't. That's a scary road to go down. Uh, we have the DD audio. I was just looking for that. Yes. All right, we'll we'll get to that because it involves Bob Kelly. What, How me? What I do? We'll get into it a little later, but uh, we do weekend shows here on 202, Kevin, and uh, last week. Oh, some of the best programming ever is on the weekends here on 202. It's like listening to really bad Wait, blogs. I, I was oh, saying some oh, of the shoot. best. Kevin had one. Uh, uh, big you know, Kev? Big Kev, Kev had one. Uh, geek stuff? Actually, in all fairness, I did not hear Big Kev's. I, I heard the first 15 minutes, and he he had it together. He he had, he had was focused. It was just not my cup of tea because I'm, I'm not a uber geek. I listened to his podcast, yeah. which the radio show is based on. It's true. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I have a, I, I <laughs> have a radio show. moved that mic in front of him and then just moved it away. I've wow. said this before. I have a radio show, but yeah. I want to do podcasts. I do a podcast? Isn't that ridiculous? I got the, like, I got just the, can't get enough air time. The, I want to be on the, the air the sound of your time. own voice. Because <laughs> there's no pressure. I can't Whether get I'm getting paid or not, me. i got to hear somebody I agree with. There's no pressure in a podcast. That's why he wants no. to do yeah. it. You I have, just, I, just completely just go on, ah, whatever. This my, is what I want to say, and I don't care if anyone yeah, likes it. The podcast not. I use, I do it from my phone. You just call a number and just talk as long as you want and hit pound, and it sends it to your Are MySpace. Are you shitting me? It sends it right to your MySpace. Wow. That's it. So you that do it from anywhere. High quality. How about you do, one, actually, r- do one right now for everybody? Okay. I just do go a to little podcast. Do I a little pod- podcast. We'll all be to- on your podcast on MySpace. I do podcast. Here I call. I'm not going to be on your podcast. I can't. Uh, yeah, you got to be compensated. Here it is. Yeah, you don't know what's on there. Who knows? She sounds hot. Yes. <laughs> I fucked <laughs> 
Uh oh. This is free too. What's the password? Let us all know. Let's free. See. Someone's gonna get it just by listening. Oh, to like sixty nine, sixty nine. Oh. Should have learned that. <laughs> no, you should have learned that from from uh, start over. war games. Yeah. After the tone. When you're done, press pound. There we go. Ready, That's it. Set, go. Hey, how you doing? It's Robert Kelly. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> hey, it's Bob Kelly's uh, podcast. Yeah. Bob Kelly likes Opie to suck and Anthony cock. Show. Wouldn't yeah. that then be a rodcast, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Please send as many dick pictures as you can. To Bob, to Bob Kelly's, Kelly's MySpace web, account. The MySpace uh, mm-hmm. site you're on right case, now. In case you didn't hear that, please send to Robert <laughs> at Robert Kelly Live. You know, there's no... What are we going to say? I have a fiance. We're going to shake him up. There's I have no a fiance. I need something to get me hard. Oh, fuck it. And make sure the uncut, that cut stuff I, really I turns me off. Fuck you and your podcast. I, I look, well, you sitting here fucking like... You, I'm kind of amazed I, by I, the technology, to tell you the truth. And that's but, it. And then you hit the pot. I don't like that you're wearing your coat right now. It's making me feel I'm cold. It's cold in here. Let's say hi to John in New York. John, what's up? Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, John. Uh, last, last weekend, uh, Phoebe agreed to lick Bob Kelly's asshole for a second show on XM Satellite Radio. Yeah, that's what I was getting at with Kevin Smith. On the weekends, we uh, we have some specialty uh, programs. Last Saturday was Dee Dee. She did a show. It was uh, average at best. Dee Dee's a girl from D.C., the D.C. offices of XM. I want, I want to work for you guys in a big, bad way. Yeah? Tell Kev, you Kevin, you're like, it was adequate. I'm yeah. just not a geek. Dee Dee's show, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True support here yeah, from exactly. you dudes, man. It's, it's just we give nothing. Take me back for a second. So, wait, do you have a fiancé? <laughs> yeah, I got a A dude or a girl? A, a, a woman. Yeah. A woman, but yeah. you love cock. Is that no, I don't. <laughs> it's the joke, yeah, the running joke. joke. Yeah, well, no, not a well, running joke. I did we don't... see you looking at cock look in the Kevin, that was, that was just, Look Kevin that was right in the eye. Today. Hold for on. The for shits and Hold games. on, Bob. Look Kevin right in the eye and say you don't like cock. Check it out. I love your cock. I mean, <laughs> wait a second. Let's try that again. <laughs> so yes or no? No, I don't like right. cock. Uh, and, and you know you this. Gotta kinda, you got a bear thing going I, I sh- on. That's why I asked. A bear thing. A bear thing. I got a friend of mine this dude, Malcolm. I'm not Dude, big dude looks like me. Bigger than me. You know what I'm talking about. Big dude, right? Fucking, he couldn't get laid, you know, in a, in a three dollar whorehouse with four hundred dollar bills. This dude gets, he fucking went gay. This dude gets so he much cock, it's insane. And the dudes he gets, you would just be shocked by. Dudes, I would fuck these dudes. They're, that, they're like cover boys, good looking, like you know, Joe College material and shit. Like he's a he's a bear, and there are some dudes out there. That that's what they're into. Like that's big amazing that that should be an option. I'm not a bear though. For a guy, you know, you're, you're totally like you can't get. You're laid. not an active bear, no, but you would be a bear. I don't have I, I don't have hair. Oh Doesn't God. matter. You just have to also be kind of chubby. I have like I'm like a half a just bear. Just because you wax your chest doesn't mean you're. I don't. I don't it. wax. That's, that's it. You just can't grow. I wax it. my ass. My girl wax my ass once. Right up the hole instead. No, just the wow. cheeks. I wish she did the hole. Why not the Because my, uh, my stink wrinkle is awful. Right, right, right. <laughs> it really is. It looks like a... Got to pull the hair it, off that star. It looks like sure. Clint Eastwood back in the, the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's awful. As it's much bad. as it shoots people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so and Steve is a bear. Yeah, is he? That's a bear. Steve's been Steve. called a bear Who's by uh, the is he people active? in He's the gay? porn industry. N- what? Right, but if he was, let's say if he was, if he was, dudes, we sent him out to uh, the uh, porn awards out there in uh-huh. Vegas uh, a few days back, and the guys love him. They, he's a a bear, he's got his uh, facial hair is perfect for that. Right, where's Steve? Here he comes. Look, see. Man, the I, guys I love it. Yeah, he, he looks like him. a muscle queen to me more than muscle else. queen. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the label, queen. Did you call, how do you know? I love that you know all the terms. <laughs> yeah, Size queen, I, my muscle brother's queen. gay. I'm surrounded. I work in, in movies, dude. I'm surrounded by gay yeah. people. Yeah. Gay people all over the place. I'm one they six do. pack away from a cock in the mouth myself. <laughs> 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 gay guys have the best terminology for what they are. They do. A man. size queen. How great is that? Yeah. Power bottom. Yeah, I like my uh, power no, I like bottom. sloppy bottom myself. Sloppy, sloppy bottom. party bottom. So that means you go. That? Sloppy yeah. party bottom is like you're the dude that likes to take and you like to take from multiple people in an evening. So you, your diet is built around not having it be too messy back there. Um, and then you go to a party and you are just the re- receiver for many. Sloppy, <laughs> wow. sloppy wow. party bottom. He's wow. And I didn't That's understand great. that term and I asked my friend. I was just like, sloppy party bottom. So it's kind of like scat job. They're into shit. And they're like, no, they like it clean. And that was the thing that I was fascinated by because. My friend was telling me, like, no, and I keep saying my friend. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's no, like, shit's not an option, not a uh-huh. factor. 
But it's like, well, that's where shit comes out of. How can it not be a factor? But they keep their diet regulated so that so that when shit the time comes for so, so basically, that party. You, you don't eat kidney beans so the skin doesn't come out on your helmet. Pretty much. Oh, God. Pretty much. Right. You need a lot of metamucil so that it comes out quickly. And, yeah. and, 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 and it's just easily. a lot of cum being pumped in there. <laughs> Ass and douching sloppy. to keep it ready to go. You, and the really? sloppy part is just all the cum. Have you heard of that term before? I love when we hear I've something for the first heard. time. You I've never heard. Sloppy party It's very rare we hear something for the first time on this show. Yeah. You know it's fun. The party. That's what really gets the me into it. The party is in party the world. So you know it's fun. Yeah. But it's misleading because more than one person, you suddenly are sloppy party bottom. Yeah. You got two dudes. That's not really a party. And and it's really not. <laughs> yeah. That's a get together. Yeah, you're watching a game oh. and shit. And two dudes are like, I want to drop it in your ass. Nut. You know. And yeah. you're like, all right, it's a party. I'm a sloppy ahead. party bottom. <laughs> and, and isn't it odd that the first guy really isn't getting the sloppy party bottom experience? Totally. That dude's getting screwed. He's, he's like, well, just, somebody's got to go first. Yeah. He's like John Glenn on the moon. He's yeah. like, all right, uh, one small step. You go first. Uh, one small step. <laughs> what a huge one. And the party gets better and better. This is why Steve. This is why Steve would be a bear because. And I, don't get mad at me, Steve, because I know you get a little angry. Why would uh, I? Because well, because you, you shave your arms. Because I'm I'm. I'm Obnoxiously hairy, and that's and that's that's my point. That's you why you wax them, shave. Really? Yeah. That's why Is you'd that be a, a bear. Thing? Uh, every three days or so, it gets like a, a, you know a little bit longer. He's Lebanese. What a pain adding pain one more it thing is. to do in the yeah, shower, yeah, man. It, it, it is. It is ex uh, an obnoxious pain in the ass. If I could wax it or do something else, I would. But do you shave just your arms, or do you shave your chest and your bum and your balls and your taint and your legs and your knees and mm, your calves? Back, I think I had nared once, but it doesn't. It just burns too much. It burns. I'm, I'm worried about scarring up my tattoos. What the come after uh, the nair exactly. comes off? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. He has to shave so you know where his body parts. Yes, yeah, exactly. Start. I've got to shave, you know, pretty like, like his hair goes right to his right yeah. to his chest hair goes right to the beard. Yeah, chest so hair goes right to the beard. Your eyebrow hair and your pubic hair connect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. My yeah. eyebrows would would blend into my hairline if I if I, if I let it go. Really? Dude, it's ridiculous. Wow. So do, you, do you tend to? Does your hair grow thicker during the winter? Somebody just told me recently that the, like in the winter your hair tends to grow. No, I haven't faster. noticed. I haven't <laughs> noticed. I mean, maybe if I let it grow long enough, then. I'd, I'd find out, but it's you always... think there are years of evolution that would just stop on you? Yeah, humans. totally. It's like, what do we, what do we need body here for? Well, there's a the gap and shit. I got like a that. house. I got clothes. I got a heater. So, Kevin, okay, what is he again? He's a workout. I would say muscle queen. Muscle, muscle queen. queen. All right, bring in Travis. It's Travis's turn. <laughs> he threw his hands. I know what Travis is called. I know what Travis is called, Travis called too. Gotta be. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is he? <laughs> I say he's a he's a cub because he's got facial hair, but he's too thin to be a bear. He's a chubby chaser. A cub. He's a cub. <laughs> and he's too hairy to be a twink. Yeah, he, that's no twink, dude. What's he's got to get smooth to be a twink. What's a twink? Wait a minute. What's a twink? I want to know what a, a twink is. A twink could be smooth, right there as a twink. A that's twink. total twink right there. <laughs> so, so he's a twink? Yeah, yeah Sam's, Sam's a twink. And what does a twink mean? Twink, uh, kind of youngish looking, yeah. smooth, hairless kind of thing. Yeah? Yeah, like a 14-year-old high school boy, but legal. Legal. Yeah. <laughs> what about E-Rock behind you there, Kevin? This is kind of fun. E Rock, hey, he did, there's nothing gay about him. Oh wow, hey, I disagree. He's all man. <laughs> wow, I don't know, I don't know what label I would rock on E Rock. I would put Doughy. Doughy. <laughs> I don't yeah. think they have that label in the no, gay community. They don't. They're not really into Doughy. I don't think that. Which is weird because there is a whole bear movement. Yeah, right? yeah. So they're into yeah. fat dudes, but they, they you know, you got to be all or nothing. Yeah, you got to be able to fight a grizzly bear. Totally. To be to, to have gay guys like if you can defend them against a like a bear <laughs> with I'll facial fuck hair, you. he could be a cub. Maybe I would say uh, no because that's a uh, it's kind of too. It's like uh, ma opposite, you know, I'm magnets. You get two magnets and they push away from each oh, other. There's yeah, no okay. bear on bear action. Fat well, dudes don't want to fight no. fat dudes. What would Nathaniel uh, be with those pretty doll eyes? Um, why am I the fucking in charge of this game? <laughs> I, you, you're the I know a couple. <laughs> you knew you I'm stepped up. Like I'm really struggling, going like, well, what would my you gay brethren up. say? We call <laughs> them. We call them fags. You had all these. <laughs> I know a few terms. A few <laughs> terms. <laughs> and suddenly, it's just like <laughs> our expert you panel. Real serious. And then we're like, wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 if you can't come up with something, I won't be hurt. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> They're gonna have them on CNN. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Enough of that. All right, so the Dee Dee thing. Is, is, are we getting her on the line? Yeah, she had to do it. Right, yeah. Are you going to criticize her about her show? Well, we asked her to send It is in. a woman, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she's a friend of the show. She used to do the kids' channel on XM. She oh. did, like, uh, yeah, XM Kids. XM it's like kids. the, you know, Disney Channel type of thing, kids' songs, right. and little cutesy DJs. And she's got a voice like a cartoon character. It's really high, and she kind of talks like this, and... and uh, 
she got thrown off of that channel the first time she had an appearance on our program because we made her say inappropriate things with that voice. In that voice. And then if people heard it and then heard it on that show. So she does the um, traffic and uh, the tra traffic reports from various parts of the, the country mm -hmm. on XM. And uh, she wanted to do a show. So we said, yeah, what the hell? It was like Dee Dee's Basement, I think she called it. Yes. And it was just we couldn't quite get out of her before the show what the show was about which was kind of a red flag. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was apparently about nothing. Right. So she just kind of rambled on about things, everything from uh, uh, cooking tips to licking Bob Kelly's asshole. So it really did cover you the did gamut. did that show as well? No, you no, get no, around, no. dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, well, how she wants to. Well, yeah, here's the deal. Do you have so. any movies you're coming up with? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an actor. Later on this afternoon. <laughs> so here's the deal. Dee Dee wants to do a second show, and uh, we basically said, look, if you lick Bob Kelly's asshole, we'll give you another show. Which I don't think, can I please, honestly, I mean, I don't think it's, I mean, look. Are you allowed to do it in your I would, relationship? I would, first of all, no. My girl, I don't think my girl would let me uh, have another girl lick my asshole. Not even but, for shits and giggles? But it's not even that. Not Liter even, literally. literally. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's not even that more so is that my asshole at 36 is so beaten up <laughs> from I've, I've watching thought, football and itching it. But that's not your sure. problem. That's her problem. Yeah, I know. But, dude, it, it's, it's almost like one of those. You ever see a little shih tzu with that little runny eye? <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just like I would just feel. I don't think. I don't think another show. If she um, ate my ass, you'd have to give her more than just another show. You'd have to give her. You'd have to yeah, pay her. This show. You'd, you'd have, have to, to give her, yeah, yeah, give her the bullets for the gun that she then put in her mouth and be like, "What yeah. the fuck is wrong with me?" It yeah. still wouldn't take yeah. the taste out either. <laughs> if, you, if you bought hamburger from a flea market. Do you really think I would do oh. that? Oh, Jesus Hi, Dee Dee. Yeah. Hi, I was just joking. Okay. I think she's joking. got a great radio voice. And I was good written voice. because you guys gave me such a hard time Friday, so I just kind of like, my, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, we didn't upset you or anything, did we? Well, I was a little bit pissed, you guys. Come on now. Some people, they can't help you. The jokes you were making, hello. Yeah, well, that wasn't me, Dee Dee. I know, like? because I was ignoring them and talking to you. I know that. Anthony. I've always You're been a nice huge guy. fan. How, many, nice how much time did she get? How much time did she yeah, get? Yeah, what, what was the show? Uh, two uh, hours? Yeah. Two hours too long? Right on. Did you feel fulfilled, Dee Dee, where you're like, this is what I've always wanted to do? Well, I've been doing it since 88, so... <laughs> so it wasn't fulfilling at all. She thinks she's better than she really is. I just went on and just was Let's messing around. I didn't uh -huh. go on to be serious, because I figured, oh, it's just like the news. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, Dee Dee, we asked you to um, send in what you thought was the highlight of the Dee Dee show. Uh huh. Dee Dee's basement. And you sent in a spanking segment. <laughs> yeah, because I got a lot of emails, guys liking that one. Yeah, that, that would happen. How many emails would that be? Two? No, I got a lot. Oh, Danny is saying you're full of shit. Hold on, Danny. Wow, Danny. My MySpace account like was like, she... Why would that mic work? You want to it's like how she's changing her tune now that uh, the show aired. And wasn't so great. All of a sudden, I, you know, I was just messing around. I knew that, you know, that nothing was ever really going to come of it. So oh. I just kind of, I just came in and, you know, messed around. You riffed, nothing riffed would come a of it. little bit. Yeah. You know, it's, she sent me that email that she decided to just like mess around and and, and do a goof show and not take it seriously. That's what they call cognitively. Because I figured, what the oh. hell? I mean, mm. it's just like the news. It's guys. not serious, right? Unless I was wrong. But All just right. what a little bit. I don't, I don't get it. When is it? Since when is the news not serious? News Does she mean the news on the show or something? You guys don't do a news segment, do you? I don't know what. She's Kevin, we, about. Don't, we don't know what she's talking about. She, she's but you hear that voice. Or something. You go ahead and play the audio so you can right. rip on me. Now here's the Aww, I feel bad See, now. I, I knew you You're would say that. You're losing your edge, sir. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dee Dee. Why? Kevin Smith will have an open mind. Hi, Kevin. Hi, how are you? I, I, look, I'm Can already. You have an open mind. I'm already on board because I, I love the voice. So let's let's hear right. a piece of the show. It's Kevin a cartoon Smith. character. Yes. Kevin Smith will critique you. And you know what? Oh, shut up. Wait, I just wanted to say something to Kevin. Uh, Can I please have your permission to say something to Kevin? Uh, you know what? Just do it. Don't even ask. Go ahead. Okay, you're a movie producer guy. I actually have a movie being produced called Lubricated and Lunacy about my crazy life. Right on. All about you. I like that. Lubricated Make it about you. And Lun she does. You know, you hear this voice and picture very innocent girl. She did at one point have a horrific drinking problem. Yes, I, I was. Where a, she would I'm black out. Oh, is this the lubricated part? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that. It, it sounded interesting Mary. for a second. Yeah, she blacked out. She wound up marrying 
a counterfeiter, counterfeiter from England. I mm-hmm. had no idea I was married till I woke up the next day in Vegas. So Mary. she wound up like a Pink Panther movie, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Never even thought of it that way, but well, exactly. There you go. And then another time she ended up, uh, she uh, regained consciousness in a gas station restroom. Mm-hmm. In, New Orleans. in New Orleans. In New Orleans. But her night started in Philadelphia. Sloppy party bottom. Oh, please. You Sloppy know. party <laughs> bottom. You know you're not in a New New Orleans bathroom in a gas station without something having happened was to this your pre ass. or post Katrina? all over my arms. Uh, pre Katrina, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. when you can do those sort of things. Yeah, the good old Blackout days. Blackout in Philly, wake up in New Orleans, and it's okay. Yeah, it's now in a gas like, station bathroom. Can't get a decent glass of water anywhere. <laughs> can you imagine what happened to her bottom? Oof. Oh, oh she even said oof. Yeah. <laughs> I right, can't remember. All right, let's play a listen little, to a little of Dee. This is what you oh. thought was the highlight of your show last Saturday night. <laughs> Big Kev will have the open mind here because I mean uh, uh, Kevin Smith. Well, Big Kev can as well uh, because yeah, you know what you're going to get from Anthony and I. I know you're going to. Oh, rip shut on up! Me. Here we go. <laughs> oh, shut. Hey, Dee. Dee. Hey, Tom. I'm wondering if there's any chance of Dee Dee getting spanked tonight. Oh, see, one oh. time when they came to D.C., O.N.A. and Jim, little Jimmy Norton, G- Jimmy spanked me while I read the news. Oh, my God, Mike is taking off his belt. No. Hey, um, You've what's your name, buddy? you a bad girl. Now, what do you, you got to think about no, this. You really this have girl to. has these big tits, and I'm a six-foot-three bald black man just taking advantage of it. See what I'm saying? You ready, Dee Dee? All right, come here. I'm going to wax that ass like rain dance. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> He's not, oh, but go gentle because this is going to hurt. No, 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 this is saying like this. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Dude, you're not leaving that on. No, no, I did it for. Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Do it. That's not going to stop these fucking. Can you watch me smack stop it? Stop it. No, you need to get the belt. It. Yeah. Stop it, please. No, no, you need to get the belt. Watch. Oh, good nine? Yeah, nine. The belt hurt worse. Watch. Oh, That'll God. No, but they used the belt in D.C. You want him to use a hand or Would a belt? Would you just fucking uh, shut, shut up and bend up. over? Uh, wow, this Jesus. is just a hand. Christ. It's a nice Listen flat hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> oh, nine and oh, Let it marinate. Fuck. <laughs> it ain't over. It's steam. It's steam. Do we have something for to bite on and on, shut the young fuck young. up? We got eight more, Dee Dee. Let's okay, go. Very nice. God, Here, it. put that in your mouth and bite down. No, it's what the hell is going on Sounds on the like weekends the around here? Basement of the fucking pawn shop in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. It's a little theater of the mind right there. Yeah, a little bit. Dee Dee, did you really get spanked or was that all? Uh, yeah, ask what's his name. Yes. Here's, Danny. Here's the thing. Danny, she on the radio? Up. Not necessary. Oh, I got spanked. No. You could just pretend to get spanked. Yeah, you could. Oh, no. This was for real. They can get, grab like a, a boar's head thing of turkey and just slap it. Smack that sound exactly totally. like uh, it. I was really getting spanked. And just like when they came to D.C., Jimmy Norton really whipped me when I read the news. All right. Yeah, well, that she's got cute voice, but she, she's way into you guys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's disgusting. All right, we got more from her show. Dee Dee, Dee Dee, you have to say you thank you. My hand. Yeah, I say have to th- say thank you every time he says nothing. Please, sir, may I have more? Please, Daddy. Fuck please, Daddy, okay. give me more. Thank you. Please She's a potty Daddy, mouth, too. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Say it again. Daddy, give me more. That was only three. Daddy, give well, me bend more. Bend over, okay, hurry up, nice. get it over with. Oh, fuck, Daddy, well, give me more. I'm getting a chub. Oh. Stick it out, Dee Dee, stick that ass out. Oh, get your fucking hands Stand away from your ass and take it like a wo- Yeah, it's it. from you. That. that was only four or five, five I it's think. like a bad it's porno. Oh, it's making me feel uncomfortable. So yeah. Oh, my God, my ass is going to be That's red. That's okay, let me get the other side. It's I think uh, she's got a catchphrase. Yeah. It's Dee's. It's Dee's. Dee Dee, for your Deans. safety, we're never allowing you to do another show on this channel. That's yeah, it's okay, best. because I'm doing another show somewhere else. Oh, oh, snap, sir. Oh, oh, snap. Excuse me. You are a stepping stone. Where are you doing another show? Um, we can't discri- discuss that yet, but you'll know when you go to my MySpace. S- serious? <laughs> so. No, not serious. JFK? You can't say. JFK, duh. I'm not Jesus. saying yes, I'm not saying no. I can't say is what I'm saying. JFK. How? They had her on one other time, right, Dee Dee? Yeah, I was on for a whole week. Uh, and I didn't do a show like that. Um, do you think they'd really put me on if I did a show like that? I think if they heard I that show, they'd take you off. I think you guys the benefit yeah. of the doubt. I was just fucking around because somebody told me that that's what you wanted because you weren't serious. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm loving the spanking show with Dee Dee. 
What? It's a little scary, I'm but... be really sore. It's a little scary, but it is different. Like, you could do a whole show, like, different things to spank you with. And they yeah. said to pair me up with one of your pets. I'm getting a lot of comments. We want you back with one of the pets. What What do you mean, pair up? Like Pair for... up, like do a show with a pet. Oh, I thought you meant for oh. some kind right. of... No, 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 no. Let's go back to the audio here. No, please. Yeah, that's right. Get up here, bitch. I have to take a breath. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to the other side. Ah, ah, we got a show to do. No. Stick your ass no. out. Bend no. over. Two more. Two more. Bend over. Bend over. No, no. Get your hands off your ass. <laughs> One more, baby. Are you ready? Come on. No. One more. Oh my Other cheek. No. Hey, hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you do it, cup it to get a better sound. Okay, Didi, I need sound. Move your hand so I can get some sound. No, 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 it's the last I one. Hear it, Didi. Or we gotta it's, start over. What, what? I'm going to the other side. No, it's Didi. You gotta do the left side because okay, the right's I'm really hurting. Let me do this chair. Fuck, it hand. stings. Oh, 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 <laughs> That's one of my black brothers. <laughs> Can I have my belt back? Oh, God. I told you I was heavy handed. That hurt. Oh. Nothing. Thank you, Dee Dee. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Great timing. Okay, bye, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. Now sit down. I can't. Bullshit, sit down. Yeah, it hurts. Let it marinate. No, 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 it hurts. Enjoy it. It really, really Who's hurt. Who's the guy that's being really like yeah. the dudes are scared the hell out obnoxious. of obnoxious? Who is yeah, yeah, who's obnoxious. yelling? The one that said F "fuck you" and just do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be Young Mike. Who's that? Who's Young Mike? He, he's a coworker in traffic and weather. Did, has he been, been convicted of rape? Yeah, yeah. He's, pretty, he's a little <laughs> too over the top. Like, yeah, he's like fucking just, scary. Oh, fucking and, do it. Those weather people were always to be avoided. Yeah, yeah. you know they yeah. read that traffic and weather so well, but deep inside they're just like fucking take us. Statistically, you know, though, most weather guys are gay. That's a, that's a fact. Was that it? Sam Champion. We go. Oh. Is there weather. a name for that? Now every time you have a name for a gay weatherman. <laughs> wasn't, he, wasn't he like a, a, a weatherman? It's called Light Cloud. On ABC or something? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. always you know, seemed just, a little gay. I just thought me. his look might have a clever... Every, every weatherman now the, you see it's now. It's called Warm day. Front. Oh, yes. Warm Front. Oh, Warm Front, right. <laughs> Sounds like the start of a snuff film. It's, it's called a, a Mushy it's, Front. This this audio's a little creepy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not digging it, really. Really? It's not... Um, it's not sexy. Well, it's a little it brutal. It's a little. Too, it's a little like S and M ish. Yeah. Let me. Uh, and uh, not into that. She screams uh, too too blood curdling. The screams are real. That's yeah, why. It's like, it's oh my God, they were spanking me. You would scream too if you were getting hit that well, hard. Don't accuse me of that. I'd and I don't want to hear a guy saying shit like. I don't want to come on, fucking take it, bitch. Take. It. It's, it's angry. Yeah. It's a little it's too angry. angry. Yeah, yeah. It's a little angry. Let's go to Martin in uh, Minnesota. Martin. What's up, guys? What's up? We're on with Dee Dee. Uh, I hear you. Dee Dee, what do you got to play on your next show? Here's what you got to do. You got to tell us what you've put in your pussy, like friends. Another show we've done, uh, Kevin. Uh, we're really setting the radio world on fire. You totally. want me to tell you what you in my pussy? Yeah. Yeah, well, well uh, Francine did that. Oh, God. Okay, okay. How about you? The, what have you had in your pussy? Let's start here. Mm, obviously a dick. All right, a dick. Very good. Let's see how high you can go here. There's one. <laughs> one. Um, we want to try to get to ten, and don't lie. So, so far we got a dick. What else has been in your pussy? Sorry for using your bio, uh, Kevin. Two and a dick. A what? What did she say? Was it uh, never mind. Never mind. Um, so far, just dick. a finger, a finger, definitely a finger. Well, that, a tongue. Yeah, duh, a finger. Yeah. A tongue, yeah. a tongue. A tongue. Um, a vibrator, vibrator, vibrator. Human yeah. tongue. Human tongue. <laughs> wait, what? Wait. Uh, so far, what we got? Dick, tongue, finger, <clears throat> or did he say doll finger? I said no. I didn't say doll finger. I said finger. Okay. What else? I said duh, a finger. Oh, duh, a finger. All right. Uh, what about um? Um, uh, vibrator. Did you right. get that? What kind of vibrator? There's many kinds. You know, a rabbit. One of those eye vibes. Oh yeah, the mm. rabbit. Do you ever use a glass dildo? <laughs> oh, the rabbit. You never use a glass dildo? I don't understand no, I never those use things. A glass dildo. What was the name? They don't have pores. What was yeah. the name of your dildo? So what is that? How's that beneficial? It's, somebody already said uh, it. I have like the rabbit. Disease and stuff. Oh, the rabbit. Disease. And it works very them. well. They, they get clean them. very well. The other ones, the the juice and all the gut gets in them. And you could punch them when it's well, inside I mean, and make it crack in a thousand pieces. If you're the only person... Yeah, that seems frightening to me. If you're the only person using your vibrator, where's all the disease coming from? If you have a vibrator, you're probably not the only person using this. Are you? What are you, out of your fucking mind? You have a vibrator, it means you're like instantly a whore. 
Well, apparently, I went to Brazil with a guy who had a bag full of vibrators, and he stuck him in a lot of people. Glass dildos. Yeah, Dr. Wow. Dildo, we called him. He brought a briefcase. <laughs> with. Kevin, he brought a Listen, briefcase yeah. of glass dildos. No, it wasn't a briefcase. It was, a, it was actually a duffel, it was a duffel bag. We, well, he brought it when in we here. Were, a duffel bag, and you could hear him go cling, cling, cling. As he, he came in here the with pool. a briefcase, and it was all laid out. Yeah. Le all I, glass dildos? The trade. Yeah. Like, like a hitman. <laughs> yeah, like a hitman. <laughs> Butt plugs, but whatever all, he needed for all a certain different situation. Kinds. So if a dude has multiple, <laughs> uh, multiple dildos and whatnot, why does he bother having more than why you know this doesn't sound like the kind of dude's like well i don't want these chicks to catch diseases like yeah. why is he suddenly considerate he's like i'll carry more than one glass dildo thanks dude. i don't know i think it's just to have the one girl like he'll work him with one of the glass dildos and then i think it's exciting for him to like all right let me switch it up now to this one because i know this one really kind of he's like an artist you know <laughs> they don't just have one brush spinning a lot of plates like being yeah. on the old sullivan yeah, show some, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some brushes make the background some you want a little fine detail yeah. i guess that's true shading then you have the he had mm -hmm. the vibrators from actually shopper image which it, it was just that that big thing with the ball oh the eats. massager mm -hmm. and I, I and just i mean just oh yeah the massager you'd hear it like <laughs> i had one. like you were standing <laughs> up <laughs> and as it got to the bone it would go <laughs> and then he'd pull it out <laughs> and i i mean i thought it was nuts but i i when, when you make a hooker orgasm so she cries <laughs> oh wow Oh, a Brazilian hooker cried in my arms. I don't know if those tears were pleasure, sir. Yeah, no, they were. <laughs> She's they were. like, get the sharper scared. image tool well, out of me. It's great. And she, they, down in Brazil, they <laughs> come and it's red like blood. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's like She's probably a game yeah. operation. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, back to Dee Dee. What else has been in your pussy? I well, already... I, we're, we're up to what, four. What do we have so far? Dick, tongue, finger, and vibrator, the rabbit. The rabbit, yeah, and that was expensive. Okay, uh, over a hundred bucks. Uh, that's like nice. Those wow. vibrators are expensive. Let's get start getting freaky. Dead. Now you can buy them on Amazon. Um, Isn't that weird? Think wow, back to that twelve, is thirteen, used to be a time 14. you had to like go into a porn shop. I was and now, pretty good until I, I hit eighteen, so I didn't have anything in my pussy until I was about eighteen. All right, what else? Let's get freaky. What else? Vegetables. Uh, what about uh, dignity? Do you ever have any <laughs> dignity up there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what is, what is man. Is it? I don't know what you call it. Like one of those tickler things. <laughs> A tickler. Oh, you mean a hairbrush? A French tickler? No, they sell it in the sex store. What does it look like? It's like long. Mm hmm. Oh my god, I can't. Slim Jim? It's one of my mom hears. Cowtail. Um, what? Cowtail? A cat of nine tails. A cat of nine. Well, I don't know. The, I, I was always thought it was like a tickler thing because it felt really good. All right, we'll call it the. A midget fist. <laughs> we'll call Hair it the, dryer. the tickler I've thing. I had a midget fist. What about um, a cookie? We had a we had that you know that girl in high school that everybody had in high school cookie puss where allegedly put a cookie in her puss. I had a hot dog. Mine was puss. a frozen hot dog. So what was her name? Coney Island. Ah, uh, she was just, <laughs> just a fat. She, they were always fat too. You never every every chick that had something break off in her pussy as a kid was she was fat. Never a hot chick that had a yeah. a hot dog that broke in her pussy. All right, uh, what else, Dee Dee? We got to get to ten. But ten, I can't. I don't think I have ten. Gear shift knob after some Spanish fly. What? Since we're just delving oh into God, urban I myth. I forgot that story. That was always a good one, dude. She ended up on the fucking gear shift. Dead. Took a little Spanish fly. She couldn't get it. Couldn't get enough. I'd say couldn't get enough, dude. Found uh -huh. her the next day on the doorknob. <laughs> yeah, those but you know what? Now those chicks exist on the internet. Yeah. What used to be urban legend now can just be easily and it's found. Just internet stories. Just Google like oh, uh, yeah. fucking a gear shift, right. and boom, you'll picture. You'll get the stories. Or the uh, the other one, which we love. It was one of the first real passed around spam sex stories. Oh, oh, it was fake. One. Stop. And it was uh, it, it started out in hindsight, lighting the match was a bad idea. Yeah. I remember the, that first sentence because people would fax this to us back in the old days, like just like it was uh, the most amazing story, and they were the first ones that were going to show us. And we've seen it a thousand times. We had talked about it, and still, dude, you got to check this story out. It's unbelievable. And it was literally unbelievable. Uh, two guys end up at the hospital. One has burns to his face. The other one has and burns. And a broken nose. And a broken nose. The other one has burns to his uh, ass and inside his rectum. And uh, they were trying to explain it. And the story came out that uh, they were doing the little trick, the Richard Gere, uh -huh. with the little tube, uh -huh. the uh, uh, toilet paper tube, and the mouse. 
<clears throat> stuck the mouse up the other guy's ass, uh -huh. and there was a string tied around the mouse's tail or leg that had come off. That's how you get the mouse out. Right. And uh, now they couldn't find the mouse in his ass, so the other guy's poking around trying to get it out. So he, uh, <laughs> it was so dark in there that he lit a, a lighter to look in his ass. Right. Lighting the methane gas from his ass, firing the mouse out, the flaming mouse, like a cannonball out of this man's ass, smashing flames and a mouse into the guy's nose, breaking his nose, burning his face, burning his buddy's asshole and uh, buttocks, and that's what happened. Uh, that's the story's like eight kinds of it's unbelievable. It's so urban myth. How, how can a, nose, a mouse, even going at the speed of light, yeah, right. break your we get, nose? We get break your myth, nose. Mythbusters on this. And, <laughs> see, yeah, why does Mythbusters yeah, ever come in that one? Homos they run out of ideas. There's one for you. <laughs> yeah, do that one. But the story would come in, and they'd have AP as part of the story, so it's AP. It's got to be true. <laughs> and it actually was written from the point of view of a surgeon that worked on these two guys giving a press conference. Right. So uh, he's outside of the... Uh, the hospital, I just picture the podium, the microphones, and him talking about the mouse in the guy's ass fired out with the methane. Ladies and gentlemen, I've hit the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Here is my story. Right. It just, uh, and we knew it never happened, but we would get it thought, every day. In hindsight, lighting the match was, was a bad a idea. Good idea. And yeah. just like, dude, it's real, it happened, because I know the guy that took the guy to the hospital. and You'd have to be leaking like an oil rig. Oh, I know. What kind of light of something? Yeah, you can't yeah. just. I thought the story was going to be like we couldn't get the mouse out, so we decided to burn it out. Burn it out. <laughs> burn like it a, out. Like a witch. <laughs> Villagers came over with torches and pitchforks. <laughs> burn the witch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dee Dee, you, you came up with another one? I have another one. All right, go ahead. I was dating this guy for a while with a foot fetish. Uh-oh. So uh -oh. you had toe in your pussy. Mm -hmm. I've done that. that right. That's actually kind of hot. I did that with an toe? Asian girl. It is hot. It yeah, they call it hot. shrimping. Oh. No, a toe yeah. in the pussy? Yeah, you, you hook your, your toe like a shrimp and you stick it in a pussy. It's like noodling. So that's yeah. six. I mean, fishing? I don't know like, what else I've you're, done. I can't figure it out. You're done at six? I think about six things. you got to have some real right. well-clipped no, uh, no, no, toenails. No, no, no. What about a vase? Toes up there. Like one of mom's mm. vases. A vase? No. Anything in your younger days? Maybe a... Remember tickle deodorant? <laughs> no. The old tickle bottle yeah, when on, it first Dee -Dee. came out and you went, ah. There was something laying around. Remember, remember the for. Breck shampoo bottle that was shaped like a cock? I've never oh. done it with a shampoo bottle. No? But I... I banana, 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 cucumber. No banana. Here no comes banana. one, though. She yeah, remembered something. But, but... Oh. Oh, go ahead, Dee Dee. Number seven. I, I'm telling you, I, I can't think of any more. You said butt, like you had another one. No. Oh, also, they went up her butt, maybe. Yeah, she's like, so never just mind. Double, I've only had six just things in my pussy, that. but my ass? <laughs> 28. <laughs> and here they oh, yeah. come alphabetically. <laughs> yeah. Ask about my ass, geez. It's not enough time in the day. I actually had a guy do karaoke from my asshole one night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bobby. Did you do uh, any, of the, uh, any of the ass play, Dee Dee, ever? Um, you know I've taken trips to Greece before. We've talked about this oh, okay. before. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you've been to Greece, you've taken a dick in the ass. Why do they like it's the this? law? You get in there. Were you custom, literally, was you literally <laughs> fucked in the ass? Literally to Greece, or was that a cute? Actually, euphemism? it's a saying <laughs> that I found out a long time ago. Okay, this guy said, "Hey, want to take a trip to Greece?" I thought, "Wow, he must really love me. He wants to take me to Athens." And then I found out what that really means. I suspected it's a cute euphemism. Yeah. Uh, when were you? When did you realize you weren't going to Greece? When I was twenty-one. <laughs> when no. He, when he what went, part when of he, the act? Yeah. He went to the Greece himself. Yeah, we, when she wait shit on his dick. a minute. Yeah. We're not going to Athens. No, he said it could oh, be. Oh, shit, um, That's Sherlock. not what that means. This is what it is. And I'm like, oh, okay. At least he was polite enough to say and not, yeah. you know, demonstrate. He got a blowjob in the mezzanine of the Broadway production <laughs> of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Greece? Uh, All right, thank you. Where can I send my proposal for PESS Radio? You guys send it in to Steve at foundrymusic.com. All right, Dee Dee, we'll be in uh, touch, right? Okay, bye. Yeah, we want to give the ONA PESS we'll now. We'll be in on touch, the, that old on gag. On the channel. All right, yeah, is, uh, so show. where do you think she's really, is she, do you think she's really getting a job? Here? No, JFK or whatever. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> she was doing so good on that goddamn kid channel. She's got the voice. She was perfect. She knows it. all the little cutie little kid songs. What happened? She had a nice... Well, she, she did our came show on our once. show and started talking about getting fucked in the ass. What do you think, Bob? With, with that voice. That usually doesn't uh, fly. That voice goes over great. She got a better job? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fly with Disney. 
That voice goes over great. <laughs> Wait a minute, she was on. It wasn't. Uh, I mean, she was on a Disney Channel. It, it might as well be. It was. It, it was called XM Kids. You have like your little eight-year-old call up and request a silly song. And, and she, you knew that. And of she was a DJ. That. Yeah. And of course with you the, knew that. With the you know the the cute cartoony voice. What little hey, kid would love girls, that voice? You want to go to Greece? Yeah. yeah. Right. We're gonna go to Greece. <laughs> I think we really fucked. You want to be a party fucked, sloppy bottom? We fucked up her gig. <laughs> what is sloppy it party. Not responsible to give her a job. Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of are. All right. We're a little obligated here. Kevin Smith is here. We got an update on the uh, Hold Your Wee for Wee. Uh, How the news is reporting it today. Right. It's kind of funny. Maybe kinda we'll play. Kind of funny. I was on the front, front page at AOL uh, yesterday, this morning, yeah. actually. No, wow. well, or late, late, late last night. Well, yeah. 4.30 in the morning. Well, what's we'll funny about that. it, we'll get into it next. They they give the latest facts, and they talk about how sad it is and how tragic, and then they go, oh, well, anyway, check of the weather. Oh, they kind of do the We love on. the segues. No, we the love kids, the segue. segue. The kids get, did get the game system, though, after all, right? That's uh, what I heard. She came in second. I think uh, I heard the latest update was they actually threw him away. Why oh, would you give the nice. kid away? At that point. It's just going to remind every game point, you even play the kid on it. You're just going to remember, you know. Your mom died trying who to win knew it. That, who knew that you could die from not pissing? The woman that called in and warned them not to do the contest. Get out of here. The the nurse. <laughs> yeah, we got you the, know. Well, uh, well, even the jocks had was, talked about it. Yeah. That's kind of. I think everyone knew. Those triathletes. And how long? How guys long was that. it? You got to debrief me on the whole. She time. was uh, in there for about three hours, I think. Yeah. Uh, I've not pissed for three hours Kevin. and not died. Yeah. Kevin, Did I drink should say. Yes, sir. Two gallons of water. Here's the clip. Eva. Eva? Yes. What do you want to say? I want to say that um, that those people that are drinking all that water can get sick and possibly die from water intoxication. Yeah, we're aware of that. We're yeah, they, sign, they sign releases, so we're not responsible. It's okay. And, and if they oh, get to the shit. point where they have to throw up, then they're going to throw up and they're out of the contest before they die. So that's good, right? Oh, uh, that's <laughs> Me. Dr. I DJ. So. Yeah. All right. Do you guys? How come you guys Thanks didn't do it? Thanks for looking out, though. We don't want to die. Oh, okay. Let me ask Carter yeah. if anybody's dying. We ain't dying. Hey, Carter, is anybody is anybody dying in there? Uh, we got a guy who's just about to die. <laughs> oh, good. Make sure <laughs> like that we laugh at oh, that. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, in hindsight, I'm sure they don't. What's uh, the matter with, with the jocks anymore, man? Can't they just send people to fucking St. Patch, fucking the cathedral? Why do they have <laughs> to be this? Them, fuck. Why do they have to lower the Why voice? Can't they go see the Greece and St. Pat's? That's, that's not yeah. good radio right there. Kevin, no. this is the safe. This is the safe radio, too. That's what... The, that's the, terrestrial? This this is... No, this is morning zoo crap. They do this yeah, they're stuff not, all the time. They're not shock jocks. They're not shock know, jocks. They're just wacky. They go into the... So, like, hey. after this, they went to Mr. Leonard for a traffic report? Exactly, like yeah. Good it's God. one of those shows. They go into yeah. these bits uh, not... They don't think there's going to be any problem, real problem. Right. It's just silly radio, you know? Ten people got Well, fired. I mean, like, seriously, though, you have somebody call up and say, even if you someone says someone can get sick off that, you're like, it's water. Let, it's me, water. let me tell Relax. you something also. It, what we do... Whenever there's any risk of anything, we have EMTs that come in and stay for the entire show. We had them with uh, the eggnog drinking contest. Granted, they're drunk, but whatever. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they all? Did this girl but go home? At least they're there. Did she go home? Or she, she went home, laid down in a bed uh, where she was found a few hours later. So, so she's in studio, and she the, were they forced them to drink a lot of water or something? Yeah, they had to drink a lot of water. It was uh, uh, She had two gallons in her. And um, not pee. Uh, she started talking about how you know her head was hurting and uh, she didn't feel good. They commented on how bad she looked. Fuck it, let's play the audio again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You want to hear Kevin? This is creepy. So uh, they talked to Jennifer. They try to get her to drop out because it gets the contest going on too long, and they got to get to their track. Not out of concern. Yeah, believe me. No, not out of concern for her. They got their battle of the sex time or constraint. something. They're Looney Tune. They got to play that day. If so, she would have only taken Justin Timberlake tickets, she might still be alive. <laughs> she. The, had, so that was the second prize, the runner-up. Uh, yeah, they offered her. Kevin, oh, you're Jesus. gonna hear the voice of the girl that ended up ends up dying, right? That she, girl voice. She had a decision to make right here, and she made the wrong decision. Listen to this. It would have maybe saved her life. Uh, who is this, Jennifer? This is Jennifer. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, what's the situation about Justin Timberlake tonight? I don't want to... I want the Wii. You do want the Wii. I was tempted. I was really, really tempted, and everyone's going to hate me forever. <laughs> I got a pair of tickets, lower level. Justin Timberlake, 2007 Future Sex Love Show Live, Arco Arena, tonight. And I will throw them away if you do not want to take them. Or Lucy. <laughs> We're not. Trust me, we're not going to throw them away. Them. Uh, uh, so you, you, I'm going to have to say, God, this really sucks. Say yes. No, say yes. No, no deal. deal. No deal. Oh. No deal. Oh. She said yes. 
creepy. She lives. That's creepy. How man. ironic that she literally says, I want the Wii. Yeah. And if she had just taken the Wii. Take the Wii. She'd be alive right. today. She would have bailed and maybe she could have started alive, leaking. Right. So that is, that's, uh, you know, I guess that's that'll be top winner in the Darwin and Awards the next year. Yeah, The course. first thing you do when you die? What's the first thing you do when you die? You wet yourself. You piss and your pants. How and ironic. Yourself. Wow. Yeah. They're, All they're the bodily fluids going, go. Thanks right, a lot, God. Right when she died, boom, it came out. And, she and was, could you imagine, like, people probably weren't sure she was dead because she just kept pissing. Oh, she's like got Like two gallons of piss as the body releases wow. everything. It's just like, man. Oh. Well, so her grim. voice is pretty happy there, right? Very. All right. The uh, contest continued. Jennifer, I heard that it's not, you're not doing too well. My head hurts. Oh. Hear the big uh, difference? Yes. My head My hurts. Head hurts. <laughs> It Jesus. happens when your brain swells up inside a fucking skull. Has no real breathing room in a skull. I have a real it's, tough time listening to this. It's just, it's just. Where do you stand on it? Are you, you are, with what? Uh, in terms well, of, you got to point a finger. Do you point a finger? Are you just like, well, you know, it's tragic circumstances. Or are you coming yeah. down on the DJs? Are you coming down on the chick? It's really tragic. I, I don't know. They gave her a choice. I look at this like I, a the, fucking traffic accident fatality. It's something no yeah, one. The traffic accidents on. are usually accidents. This was no accident. Perhaps this was not a boating perhaps, accident. <laughs> it's not a boating accident. This perhaps a, the one driver was driving a bit erratically and it caused the accident, but didn't intend to cause an accident. Just was trying to get home a little quicker. It was just on sounds, the cell phone. The, the insidious part, though, is I mean, it's all in retrospect, right? Yeah. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Listening to those dudes go. They sign releases, so... Yeah, we don't care. We don't care. It's actually, yeah, oh more of a, God. are we legally safe? All right, fuck her. All you right. know, that's pretty much... There's, it. Not, there's not one person in that room thinking that this person could actually die. Yeah, but like, again, years. though, if she was drinking oil... You know, from you know, out of a what? car, that would be like this could be bad. Right. She's drinking water, so nobody's thinking that. This, every even when that person says, "Yeah, yeah, whatever," you have to get sick of water. Yeah, it I was think. a total accident. I can't stress enough. They do these type of things on morning zoos all the time. Yeah. you know, sit on a block of ice, the last person up wins a dump take. She's it. a small girl, and and like I said, it, it'll come out. You know, in the autopsy, it, did she? Was she fasting to try to fit more water all night? Did she eat breakfast and get like those chemicals that the water Was kind of dilutes a, a that you Kobayashi? need? Kobayashi? Yeah, doing yeah. a Kobayashi. Just like stretch your stomach out and then not, not eat for the day. Is that a Kobayashi? Well, that, that's the winner of the uh, Coney Island hot dog contest yeah. eating every year. The Kobayashi. The little thin Asian. Well, yeah. what is, and what's, the, rail thin. what's the exercise? He will, will months in advance, start slowly stretching his stomach out. So he goes in yeah. and to these sushi places yeah. and just eats stacks, plates. Plates will be stacked up, 10 stacks, like five feet high. You, you know what else they do, though? They eat grapes because they'll, they'll just bowl of grapes and just pop them boom 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 like this it and it stretches like your stomach gun. out and then he stretches 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 and then before uh hand right before the competition he'll fast a bit and he'll have this big stretched out stomach and he can just shove fucking hot I don't understand. isn't stretching your stomach getting fat isn't that the whole no he's very thin He's, yeah, he's, he's and he works out. The too. reason why skinny people, uh, it, fat people, can't eat as much as a skinny person. Fat I used to work at, a, a, at an Italian restaurant. They gave a pound of pasta with every meal, and there was one meal called Jesus, a, pound pound of pasta? a pound of pasta with every meal. That's our that's line our out the contest. door. Line out the door every eat day. Pasta to you every God. day for five bucks. Still like five ninety nine. A uh, pound of pasta with every meal, but they, they had a, um, a miso de pesce, two and a half pounds of pasta. And I think like something like a pound of seafood or some shit, you know, just Who crazy amount. Fuck's gonna but eat if you all ate that. that, you got a free T-shirt. And the right. only well, wait a wow. second now, yeah. nobody mentioned the T-shirt. The only people that finished it was skinny dudes. There's yeah. a couple of people that finish it because there's n the fat people have so much fat pushing against their stomach that it can't expand. Skinny guys don't have really any fat in there to push it so it can expand more than a, a fat person. I don't know if I agree with that. Man. No, that's I a, can no, kill that's a, a lot fact. of fucking Doctor, food, though. Uh, yeah. I, I can, I can, I'm not denying. I'm, I'm sure Kelly, in some cases, Dr. Right, I can, Kelly I can has eat spoken. everybody in this room. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. No, I give it up to the PhD. Has a mic in front of him. Yeah. It's got to be true. If comedy doesn't work out, I'm gonna fucking be. A, I'm gonna be a dumpling champion. You could be a spokesperson on MSNBC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's the audio. As uh, Jennifer's a lot different now. Yeah. Jennifer, I heard that it's not. You're not doing too well. My head hurts. 
Aww. They keep telling me that it's the the water that it's my. It'll tell my head to hurt and then it'll make me puke. But I don't who told you that the internet? Yeah. That's what I know it's over there. Like, it it kind of it makes you. It hurts, but it makes you feel lightheaded. So I'm not sure if I'm just like. This is what it feels like when you're drowning. There's a lot of water inside of you. Oh, it hurts. This is like deep yeah. blue sea. So we want to get you out of your misery. We All would right. like to offer you again, one more time, and the last time. The last time we're going to offer you this. Justin Timberlake tickets for tonight. Lower level. Because it seems like Lucy By has a big bladder and she's not going anywhere. You know, they laughed at me for turning them down the first time, so I'm not going to turn them down again. I'll take them. Oh! Oh! Wow, she took tickets. Oh, Woo, it's All right, bring them in. Hey, bring Watch. everybody in. Oh. Two empty seats. But why'd she die? Yeah, the two. <laughs> if she got the tickets, why didn't she just go pee right there? Oh, that's a good seat. Can There's we move down there? It's too late. There's a point that's too late. Where is that's this? That's what I'm by thinking. The way. Uh, Sacramento. So even if she it's must have late. went and pissed right after that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Too it's much too water was absorbed point. into her system already. So yeah. you're just done. There's a point Who of no return. Who fucking knew yeah. that water could kill you unless exactly. you're drowning in it? That's isn't just it really why it's the, the, the fundamental building block of, of all life, isn't Apparently, it? Apparently, though, there's a few other chemicals thrown in that if you dilute too much. Yeah. Uh, you will die. Your, like blood, this, your blood turns to water. Right. We, were, we were talking about... No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We were talking <laughs> about this. great, didn't it? Sound the other, yeah, yeah, I yeah, bought it because yeah, I was yeah, buying yeah, the bad guy thing. Did I just say, though, you guys all bought it for a half a second? <laughs> we were talking about this the other day. Is this Boulder like, Nash? And it turned, in, <laughs> it turned into this whole thing on so life and God and, and all this other crap because you're like, how the fuck do these <laughs> piles of goop <laughs> that we are, we're just fucking goop, walk and talk and communicate and build things and do things when you know it's just this chemical is uh, surrounding you know a brain cell and it's got like sodium in there and electrolytes and everything it needs to keep the cell alive just bobbing along and, yeah and it's bobbing away and, what, and that's what keeps it alive it's a cell it's holding a little memory of fucking you know of pulling a wagon when you're six and that's its purpose to keep forever is just to keep that image of you pulling a wagon you remind me of Stephen Hawking's right now just the way you jack it on and you're leaning oh, I love it <laughs> I don't think anyone's pulled much. a wagon sir since like 1868 exactly <laughs> I didn't mean like a cover one going west. Not even that. The radio flyer. Did you ever no. a little red wagon girl. A little red radio no. flyer. He's a vampire. We don't know how old he really. is. <laughs> I've been around for many years. Many centuries. <laughs> it was uh yeah okay uh your first car, there buying you your first car. There it is. An but Etzel? but if you drink Grand too much Torino. water, yeah, that's a Model T. You fuck. I had a, I had a, I had a Grand Torino, and you had to get in the uh, passenger side door. See, that's and when you turn the lights on, it started. That's in a brain cell somewhere. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's somewhere in a brain cell. I used to have in the in the winter time. I used to have the girl, any girl I was on a date with, she'd have to connect two wires to turn the heat on. And it was, it was were nipples. <laughs> Easy. And now there's a cell in my head, the little yeah. blob of water that's yeah. holding this information holding about information. don't drink too much water. Right. And, and, yeah, now now that's in there. Or, Wouldn't that be really, ironic? you can drink too much water, but don't uh, don't. Not pee for heaven's yeah, sake. Take, a, take a leak, ladies and gentlemen. Take, you need sodium. You need electrolytes. Can like you if you did that for Gator with Gatorade, Gatorade it wouldn't matter. Fine, supposedly. Get the fuck out of here. She drank two gallons of Gatorade. Supposedly. Yeah, right. you'd be fine. We're not experts because so it's got it's got the chemicals in it that you're diluting out with the water, and then your your cells, the brain cells, start swelling. Because they they're not getting what they need, so they start swelling, and you know a cell at a time swells. Doesn't seem like that much. You pack them all together into a brain, into that fucking bread pan skull, Can I <laughs> without say the something? top to fucking expand. Ooh. The, the the water does. I don't know, I, I, I'm I'm saying this because the only channels I watch is is Discovery. And uh, A and E, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it does something to your blood too. It does, it does. It turns it into water. You're still campaigning it, it, for the whole. Sh you are <laughs> really fucking going for this. I right, listen. I Can I jump back? Jesus. I am something of a medical expert, <laughs> right. and uh, I saw an A and E. I just want to let you know <laughs> yeah. I, between I, I, episodes of City Confidential that and, uh, water, and Dr. Water, Dr. Kelly, and, uh, Dr. Kelly, and Crossing Jordan. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> one more piece of audio to play. The host comment on how sick Jennifer looks, and she so can, the whole she time she's up. there in studio. Yeah. Well, I think they set no. up another area, and then they finally brought him brought back him in. Studio. Mm. They had like a, a staging area somewhere else. Uh oh, she looks sick. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer, you look. Pre oh my gosh, look at her belly. Are you pregnant? <laughs> no, she said it looks like her belly, like when she was pregnant. Look, it's totally oh sticking out. Oh my gosh, look at that belly. That is so <laughs> funny. That's full of water. You were probably three months pregnant. Come on over. She's a mother of three. I know she's a little tiny Ooh. thing too. That's oh. so funny. Come on over, Jennifer. Are you okay? You want to lay down? What do you? What do you? She can't even walk. You gonna pass out right now? <laughs> too much water. I could. I could probably drink more if you guys could pick me up. 
can I get for no. another one? <laughs> no. What can I get? Well, you're going to Justin Timberlake tonight. You got tickets for that. I don't think uh, no, Lucy was going to give up. So, <laughs> See, if there were EMTs there, they would have seen what kind of shape she was in, taking her vitals and gone, look. You got to get to the hospital. But you said that she by that point she was already too There's late. There's things they could do. It's too late if you go home and go to sleep. You can't take a leak and then go home and go to sleep. But if you go to the hospital, they you're not getting mad at me like I'm do. the chick who drank Look, the water. Look, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like 60 years ago, they would drag people away in cattle cars, gas them, and then burn them. The New Reich, the Fourth Reich, Fourth Reich, Morning Radio. <laughs> <laughs> drink all this water and don't piss. We don't care. Yeah, she's They're just doing it one papers. person at a time. Exactly. Well, here's where the case is at brand new brand new info oh. we think that they went ahead and did this this uh, contest inappropriately and irresponsible and that's why lawyers for jennifer strange's Hawkeye family Pierce. say they plan to file a wrongful death lawsuit against the sacramento station <laughs> The attorneys claim KDND-FM knew the dangers of a water-drinking contest, even joked about them on the air, but continued anyway. Everything that we've been able to generate so far in our investigation demonstrates that they just didn't pay attention or even take the time to investigate or research what was the potential consequence of this contest. So easy to condemn in retrospect, though. Yeah, okay. Never in a million it, fucking years would uh, th these dudes be that up in arms if they called them in advance and said, yeah. "Hey, we're gonna have a tr contest where you make people drink a lot of water and they can't go to the bathroom." Said how 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 harmful could that? It's and what happened to the guy that won first times. place? He obviously drank two gallons of water and he didn't piss more. either. Yeah. It was a woman. It was a woman. Who won. A woman, woman who won. won. Yeah. How thought you think that woman sitting around going like it could have been me? Yeah. Yeah, and it's for I will never drink too. water again. So she'll sue. How much does she hate her children? Oh, my God, really? The one who won is just like, I fucking put my life on the line. You better play that game. Play the game. <laughs> Fuck your homework. I almost died for that. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, uh, wasn't she even won. A, it wasn't even a Sony. It was a Wii. Yeah. We, we got, well, okay. I think Wiis are pretty popular. Don't, don't diss the, the Wii with a uh, fan of the <laughs> Wii. likes the Wii. You like the Wii? The Wii's pretty popular. I don't like the Wii. It might be worth taking a shot for. <laughs> Stupid hand controller. We're up to I a law for right. We got a law for fake professor. Sword. There we go. This is what they're thinking as far as the lawsuit goes. We have the bizarre case of the California mother of three who died bizarre. from drinking too much water at a contest sponsored by a radio station. The question now, was the death a homicide and will anyone be held criminally responsible? ABC senior law and justice correspondent Jim Avila has the following right? story. So is encouraging listeners to drink as much as two gallons of water without using the bathroom dangerous enough to be a criminal offense? UCLA law professor Peter Aranella. The behavior of the radio station as well as the disc jockeys is uh, so egregious that a criminal prosecution would not be a frivolous expense of state resources. Oh, Two factors make criminal speak. prosecution Love possible, it. says Aranella. Yeah. First, another contestant says he didn't see any warning of possible health dangers. I got the waiver or the release form. By looking at it, nothing to say that this could be harmful to your, uh, to your health oh, or probably uh, deadly. And secondly, the disc jockeys were warned on the air that what they were doing was hazardous. That those people that are drinking all that water can get sick and possibly die from water intoxication. Yeah, we're aware of that. We're yeah, they said, they said releases, so, so we're not responsible. It's okay. Wow. We're not responsible. Yeah, an understatement. I was just kidding. He right? was just kidding. Murder too. charges, though. You know, he was just kidding. Uh, murder charges, not Kevin. Murder. No, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's uh, tragic and sad, but like, come on, that's just a blunder. Those civil kids, like, civil case, there will be. Obviously. Sure, I have yeah. to sue the station, but, uh, whatever. The criminal get some yeah. recompense, but they're like, gonna have yeah. every we that comes out from now until they're like. <laughs> 80. I don't think uh, gonna make a lot of you money. can make a criminal case right. out of it. You think Nintendo's just like, we had nothing to do with this? Oh, yeah. Nintendo's going to Nintendo's oh, gonna, gonna want to distance themselves. They, they love the publicity. change the name of it, for heaven's sake. They're going to yeah. sue They're, they're going to call it everybody. Piss now. <laughs> it's so <laughs> easy, though, in retrospect, for everyone to get all tight about it and like, oh, this was a fucking horrible train wreck. That, hey, I you bet know, your Wii sales are up. Yeah. You think so? It's worth dying for. That's how they got to market it. Oh, the video game system that's worth dying for. But that's for. how it works in America. I mean, it's a lot of attention for the Wii. It's I got a lot of mentions. I bet your sales are up. Somewhere in, in, in the bowels of Nintendo, there's somebody sitting in an office going, I don't oh, know, shit, this is good for us. Up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, listen yeah. for the hey, grab that dude Jason, man. He says blood blood cells four. burst. He's line, like four, line four. From Brentwood, Jason, yes. Dr. Jason, yes. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, I want to support Bob's idea. What right. though happens to your blood? Thank you. Like um, when you get too much. Can you call me Doctor Bob, though. 
Yeah, oh, Dr. Bob, I'm sorry. It's okay, doctor. Yeah. What are your credentials, sir? Uh, I really don't have any. I'm just a smart guy. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll smart take it. guy. I'll take it. That's good enough. Your name yeah. Nathaniel? <laughs> I have a phone in front of no my face. No better than so anyone else in this room, so. He has a phone in front of his face, okay. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, doctor. What, hap what happens is you dilute out the blood. with a, You get a lot of water in there, so the osmosis reverses, so you get a lot of water going into the blood cells, so they burst, and then you run out of oxygen, so you actually suffocate. That's what happens. That's what I said. The, what, the Not really, osmosis <laughs> reverses. <laughs> I was trying to say. Thank right. you, Doctor. You're out of your right. mind. Dr. Jason, thank, thank you. you. Dr. Bob says thank, thank Dr. you. Dr. Steve from Scranton, PA, ONA, new bit for you. Hold your P for a PSP. Oh, the PSP. Huh? All right, I, let's, uh, let's run it past the lawyers. Yeah, right. Listen for the uh, Listen for the segue here. Judy Linder is a nurse at a Sacramento clinic who convinced her friend to call with that message. I was more concerned as they were drinking more and asking people to drink more. And um, it was 8 o'clock in the morning at that time. They would have had plenty of time to stop them. Now, the Sheriff's Department is investigating possible criminal charges. And while difficult to prove, intent to kill... Most legal experts we surveyed believe a charge of manslaughter is possible because the radio station should have known drinking too much water too quickly can, in fact, be lethal. Why? Yeah, in fact, they were that. warned about that. Yeah, it's a tragedy. It's so sad. All right, Jim. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, 36 minutes after the hour, get a check of the weather again with Sam Champion. <laughs> uh, there he is. That's how, that's how important your life is in the end. Speaking no of water, going to be wet in the city today. <laughs> a lot of rain coming down. <laughs> why, why should they have? Why should a fucking radio station have known that no it's not their responsibility to know like what fucking drinking drinking too much water supposed to take the word of a caller just coming That's the calling thing out of nowhere too. some dude calling out and what about and this chick going like you know i told my friend to call up like because i knew it was lethal then get off your fat fucking ass go down to the radio station and fucking yeah. bang the door Save down and be like yeah be a hero totally right. be she, fucking she superman sound like yeah. the, the most superman don't pick up a phone and it's no. like hey you know there's a meteor hurling toward the city somebody do something about Could it you uh down there yeah call them up and tell them because i'm i'm lazy can we um <laughs> Can we play our interview from last night one more time? Oh, please. Do we, 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 we got involved uh -huh. in this. Because, where? Uh, well, oh, we're experts at yeah, uh, we've been shockery. Fired from our shockery. <laughs> our sh <laughs> shockification of people that we have done with our shock jockage. Who knew uh, getting laid in the confessional would kill you? Exactly. Thank God. You getting know. laid? You fucking broke a commandment. We've had it's a lot of people of arrested. Not, are they fucking not in the killed. ass? Uh, yeah, a little ass sex. Oh, well, there's a rumor. That rumor. Who knows? Ass sex. We, <laughs> we but, really uh, don't know. We weren't there. Uh, since Bob we're Kelly. since <laughs> we're the poster boys for Let shit me ask like you, this. I have a question about that story. When that was so that was you guys going like just go anywhere weird and do it. You we, didn't we say had a list. go to St. Pat's. No, we had we had we had a list. Was St. Pat's on that list? I heard, no, I heard, I heard, church was. I heard, church was on it. Right on. But church Not was the on church. there. Because there were a lot of locations that are easy to have sex in. Right. Uh, we had known that from the years that we had done the thing, that with nooks and crannies. You could go to, one was the Hard Rock, mm -hmm. Hard Rock Cafe, mm -hmm. a little landmark in New York. Uh, you could get into a booth in a corner somewhere. We just knew it was easy to slip it in, slip it out. You get the points. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we figured having church on the list would be, as we read the list, it would sound like, oh, my God. There's churches on the list. Not thinking anyone's really going to go there, but to have it on the list is kind of right. outrageous and right. shocking. Right. So uh, we just didn't know until we plunked the phone down and one of the guys, a spotter, was on there and says, Hey, we're here at St. Pat's and he's doing the balloon knot, which was our code for ass sex. Right. It wasn't even like, hello, where are you? What's going on? It was like, boom, boom, that. And he goes, all right, they're pulling their pants up. Security guard is coming over. It happened that quickly. Right. I think it could have been diffused if they all just fucking ran away. If they all just ran. But uh, Paul Mercurio, who was Why the couldn't they, they were the in time. a church. Why didn't they just claim sanctuary? Well, sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, the, didn't the cop actually say, get the hell out yeah, of here? Yeah, get out of here yeah. at one point. They didn't was, want to do it. There were many opportunities. It was a guard, actually, not a cop. The and great irony is that it just said church on your list. Had they yeah. done this in a church of Satan, none of these problems Right. Would have happened. Oh. Actually, they'd be Why do they have to go Catholic? That's the shoulders. only problem. You can go to Catholic. Unitarian. They'd let you get away with the Unitarian Church. They're and not sure like, what they believe. The, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> the numero uno Catholic Church. Like, that is the yeah. Catholic Church. So, you know, of course, 
took a lot of heat, and uh, we become the uh, poster child for this type of shit. When it happens, people want to know what our opinion Heats is. Heat's off you guys. You guys look mild in comparison. Right. Nobody died. The, the, the hey, ba- what's that? Can we just get this story? I don't mean to interrupt you again, and I apologize, but they want to ban spanking? Uh, and make yeah, it a fine, a thousand dollar fine or it's something? Spank your kid. Years. But yeah. they want to actually ban it, make it against the law. All right. Right on. I thought a small child was going to come in and explain that. <laughs> you, you, did you shush me? He, wow. wow. Fuck, wow. what is going on? Are, are you insane? Shush? What the are fuck kind of people are they? You're like a crazy person. You shush me, I thought spider. you said, shush me, spider. I thought you said, <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? So they, they, the news wants us to comment on this. Yes. Now, when we got fired, uh, every fucking shock jock douchebag second rate radio ass was on commenting on our career. I remember waking up Sunday morning and just hitting uh, the, some of the talk shows on the news and l- laying there in bed and thinking how surreal this was that they're discussing my life and my career and how I'm blackballed and I'm never going to work again as I'm just waking up like, what? The, what? Who the fuck are you? How do you know? So it kind of was like, all right, MSNBC called us up and wanted us to do this interview. And I'm thinking, it's so hypocritical, almost, for us to now then go on and go, well, these well, let me jocks you, were... As the expert Even here. if we defend mm-hmm. them, it's kind of stupid. You know, what the, who the, what the fuck do we know? Mm-hmm. And who cares what we think, you know? So we said yes. <laughs> and uh, with the idea, and we even did it on the air yesterday, we, we were coming up with thoughts and everything, of just throwing in every little inside joke that this show has... Into her interview right. instead of doing a real interview. Opie played good cop, trying to keep her on the, the hook by actually answering some of the questions. How one of these experts would answer them. And right. all I did blah, with blah, every crap. statement was throw an inside joke in from this show. Mention people's names, mention Steve's bad acting that he did for one of his promos. Uh it, just every little inside joke, and uh, it worked out well. And he brought up a case, a very important case. Oh yeah, a radio show going, uh, going, you know, doing something wrong. The Back names of the the names of the radio jocks I use are one of them is a name that that Jimmy uses as one of his characters when he calls up and just insults callers that call in for interviews. Another one is just the sound that Jimmy makes. <laughs> what is it? Frankus. So you put the two together and it's a show called Ramon and the Ramon Frankus. and Frankus show. And, <laughs> and I described how they had killed somebody by doing something we did on the show that day. Right. <laughs> And it just, it, she was, she was pissed. You could hear it. She didn't want to talk to me anymore. She kept going, well, Opie, Opie. And I just kept chiming in with ridiculous things that made no sense. And right. halfway through, Anthony made me laugh so hard. I'm holding the phone like this, like, oh, don't blow it. You know, I gotta, I gotta play the good cop here. And then. Oh, it uh, tripped him up so bad. He was trying well, not to hear. laugh. And then, uh. She asked some kind of question. I, I remember a couple words, and so now my brain's trying to, like, work out something from the two words I heard in this long, like, question. Yeah, it was really, well, it was and great. And so you guys were on the phone? And yeah, was yeah. it live on TV? The phone yeah. or live on MSNBC. Yeah, yeah, with um, uh, Allison Stewart. To make it easy for Kevin, because he doesn't get to listen to the show a lot, just ring the bell for every show reference. Oh, Thank you, sir. Okay. That'll I make it very that. easy. Yes. All right, here we go. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department has opened a criminal investigation into the death of a California woman who drank too much water. Jennifer Strange drank as much as two gallons of water during a radio show stunt to win a popular gaming station system. Excuse me. The sheriff is considering filing charges after hearing part of the radio show broadcast. How much water do you think you can you can drink <laughs> before you have to wee? I did like two gallons. Two, two gallons. gallons? Oh, dude. Can't you get water poisoning and, like, die? Water. Your body is 98% water. Why can't you take in as much water as you want? I don't know. Maybe we should have researched this. I don't know. I mean, Um, yeah. Maybe they should have researched that more. Shortly after that part of the conversation on January 12th, a nurse called in warning of the dangers of drinking too much water. The radio station has now fired 10 employees, including three of the morning show disc jockeys. Opie and Anthony are nationally Opening. syndicated radio hosts, also on XM Satellite Radio, two of the best known in the business. They're joining us now on the phone. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thanks for having us, Allison. Hey, Opie, so um, as two people who do provocative radio for a living, what did you think when you first heard this story about this women dying from drinking that much water during this stunt. Well, obviously I feel bad for Jennifer and her family, but uh, I also feel bad for the show because they're just a, they're just kind of a wacky morning show. Uh, they're not really shock jocks or edgy. They were just kind of having 
fun to have a little fun and it blew up kind of face fun. Like that's that's terrible. I'm sorry. You know, I feel bad. Anthony, what did you think when you first heard this? Uh, it was awful. Uh, you know, uh, this, uh, these poor kids of the uh, mother are going to be asked for the rest of their life. You know, how how did your parents die? You know, and uh, or your parent die, and uh, they're going to have to come up with this uh, ridiculous story of you know a radio stunt. So, Opia, so what at this point in the story, if anything, posts to the, points to the radio host's responsibility for this woman's death or absolves them from it? Uh, that, that's a good question. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough to get out of this one. You, you really, <laughs> you really don't sign up to, to kill a listener when you, uh, when you do a radio show. So, uh, I'd say they're pretty screwed. Yeah, I, thought, I was listening to you guys this morning and, and one of the, you played a clip from this show and one of the guys was like, hey, she signed a release. Does right. that, uh, she signed a release excuse hold in your opinion? No, I think uh, it, it, legally it might hold, but, um, uh, uh so they don't get, uh, Arrested, but I, I think civil a civil case will be uh, brought up. And it reminds me, it was a case uh, years ago, back in '83. A couple of uh, disc jockeys, I think it was Ramon and Frankis in the morning. Uh, they had a staff member shove marshmallows in his mouth, and uh, he choked, um, wearing a bunny suit. It was awful, tragic. The um, Nagel family's never recovered from that. And uh, you know, uh, they, I remember they were taken right off the air. So, OP, so it's happened before. It has OP. Do you think this is going to bring any any industry? wide changes or is this just going to be one of these sad stories that sort of fades from the headlines now this is the question she's asking i'm not hearing this i'm i'm dying i'm like i can't believe he's he just what, so what's the nagel what, reference yeah I, that eric uh eric nagel is our uh assistant uh, producer gentleman that is sitting out there and he was the one that was in the bunny suit that day we shoved marshmallows in his mouth and made him say chubby bunny like, he'd have to put one and say chubby bunny, and then two chubby bunny. And it, it ends up just being a big mass in his mouth, and he's going, oh, 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 and trying to put another one in. And, uh, of course, I said he, he choked, and the Nagel family never recovered. <laughs> why did you ring the bell for uh, how you, uh, these poor kids are going to oh, be asked why their parent, how yeah, their parents died? Yeah, this is, uh, now, of course. <laughs> I want to write down every you're thing. You're a director, so I go back. Uh, writer. You know acting. I mean, bit. you've, you've oh, seen Oh, my God, it. yes. Um, Steve, our own Steve, who came in before, uh, I believe you called him a uh, workout. Muscle queen. Muscle queen, yes, muscle queen. <laughs> he uh, and Bill, our own Bill in there, had put on this little production for, uh, uh, I guess it was a promo for the show. Yeah. I don't even know what it was at this point. But all, I, all we did know from this is Steve's acting is so utterly bad. It is so bad uh, that he can't have a dynamic between asking someone how their parents died, mm -hmm. which is pretty serious, to just throwing off a simple why not. It's the same inflection. Listen, please. How'd your parents die? Why not? How'd your parents die? Why not? <laughs> How'd your parents die? Why not? He gives a little more in the... Why not? <laughs> How'd your parents die? How'd your parents die? Uh, that's... And now he's... Uh, this is that's terrible. I'm sorry. Which was my opening line was that's that's terrible. I'm sorry. That that's terrible. I'm sorry. He does the little that's that's terrible. I'm sorry. That, what is, that's I, terrible. I I'm sorry. In context, man. Yeah, you can hear what that performance is. Well, please, because you it sounds like you you could write it off as like well he's playing a character that just no, has no vocal inflection. No. This is just Steve. <laughs> listen to these is, like he, listen to these sing songy lines that I didn't even get in. He's what are you hard. doing in my house? What's my problem? You're in my fucking house. You're in my oh, fucking house. house. He does. I tell you, he sounds like GPS. Yeah, he does. He sounds like that GPS. guy. <laughs> hey, take a left. Take a left. This is know. the. I like the waving off kind of. And you can picture him just going. It, it just, just. Uh, no, uh, nothing's wrong. Just stay in the living room. I'll handle it. Uh, it Get the fuck is, out this now. Is That's poor angry, acting, Kevin. That's angry. You want to hear the promo so so he can understand? Oh yeah, put it All in right. context. Here we go. The Opie and Anthony Show presents a Wild Bill production. Bill writes these, by the Due way. Due to the massive good. critical acclaim and commercial success of the Fan and Sam Show, XM202 is proud to present a new Opie and Anthony spinoff, a program that will surely take the radio world by storm, announcing Steve C. and his best friend, Bill, starring Opie and Anthony's own Steve C. and his best friend forever, Bill the Intern, who is sensible, articulate, and certainly not crazy. Hello? 
Hiya, Steve. Swell condo. What are you doing in my house? Why are you pissed off? What's your fucking problem? What's my problem? You're in my fucking house. The door was open. I thought your wife was going to cook us a nice organic dinner. Honey, is there a problem? No, nothing's wrong. Just stay in the living room. I'll handle it. Bill, get the fuck out now. I can't leave. Why not? My parents just died, and you're my legal guardian. That That's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> How'd your parents die? In their sleep? <laughs> Bill again! <laughs> I still don't, to this day, don't get it. Ask Kevin. I, I want to cave Bill's yeah. head in for even... We- it, they handed this in. It was so awful. We were never going to play it on the air, but it was so bad we had to play it. And now it's become <laughs> this thing. And and the Facebook listeners know these lines like like, like oh, they yeah. know they're freaking whatever. Back and I, 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 I don't think this island. side of the defense. It just sounds like they're being arch and trying to put on like what sounded like maybe a fifty sixty sitcom. Really, with with like. How'd your parents die? Yeah. How'd your parents die? It's not die? like Mike Brady was How'd your a great actor, die? you know, on the Brady Bunch. That's true. Well, he, that no, was he pretty was. much that was a he Mike. acted like a straight man. Totally. That, that was that, uh, that was some pretty good acting. Everyone acting. thought. Yeah. He was poor. It has an OP. All right. So, you want to? He- I got to hear your uh, your your discussion of Ramona Funkus again. Yeah. So then I'm dying, and then she asked me a question. I don't want to hear the question. I hear a couple little words in there, and then I I just lose it. He shoved marshmallows in his mouth, and uh, he choked um, wearing a bunny suit. It was awful, tragic. The um, Nagel family's never recovered from that. And, uh, you know, uh, they, I remember they were taken right off the air. So, so it's happened you, before. It has. Opie, do you think this is going to bring any, any industry-wide changes, or is this just going to be one of these sad stories that sort of fades from the headlines eventually? Uh, no, I think uh, I think I think the boss is gonna, you know, kind of kind of pretty much uh, wreck it for everybody else. I, I mean, the bosses in radio in general are, are beyond scared as it is. And uh, now that we officially have killed the listener out there, yeah, I, I think you're gonna hear a lot of really really boring radio. No one's gonna really try to go to the go to the edge or uh, do anything edgy. Well, Anthony- I mean, didn't a, didn't a management maybe say, hey, did you talk to a doctor about this or something? Thing and maybe uh, get some confirmation if this is dangerous or not. So, Anthony, you're throwing it up the food chain a little bit, that management maybe should get involved and maybe should be held accountable. Yeah, maybe you say, you know, did you talk to your doctor about this or something, you know. Uh, maybe management should have looked into this and seen if it was a little more uh, dangerous than they thought. Opie and Anthony, we really thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Allison. <laughs> and I threw in a little Howard Stern reference at the, uh, I caught from the his movie, Private that. Parts. <laughs> Allison. Allison. It was Allison. <laughs> My best friend. <laughs> so we yeah. had fun with that yesterday. We shan't be called back, I think, for an interview interview again. Oh, and, what was it, and when click. did the Bill O'Reilly thing, and when did that happen? He did a story and then brought you guys into it? Yeah, that's... Uh, that's stupid him, man, cow. Yes. Ah. Uh, we did it at the end of the other show. Yeah. You were sleeping. You were sleeping. I was driving at that point. Were you? You yeah. were sleeping through that or driving. Driving? driving. In. All right. So what, just he so, referenced you guys? I, was, I don't need to hear audio, but... Well, whenever... Yeah, like shock jock again. Whenever a radio show fucks up, we're the ones they throw B-roll on. He goes, Not anymore, sirs. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, I know. From now on, we it's going to be like... title. Yes, yeah, so you guys, you just gave down. it up, man. Somebody took your title. We get pushed down. Who? What are the DJ's name? Do they have a name? What's morning the morning rave. Show? The morning rave. A collective. Yeah, where, where was it rave. out of? Lucas, Trish, and Maney. Or Maney. Sacramento? With Killer and Inhuman. <laughs> yeah. Morning Grave. We thought would be a good name for the show. All right, we've been talking for an hour and a half. Kevin Smith Ooh. in the studio. Bob Kelly promoting something, Bob. Yeah, we're going to be at the uh, Atlanta Punchline the uh, February 1st to the 3rd. Opie Anthony Dance Party Weekend. Wait, 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 no, wait. No, 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 no. Comedy gone too far. Obi and Anthony, XM202. Kevin Smith today. Hello. Bob Kelly today. No. I've drank a gallon and a half of water and I will not pee. <laughs> I'm putting this theory to the test. You know, I usually just sit here and people sometimes comment. They go, wow, Anthony hasn't gotten up to take a piss like 
the whole show. Oh, well, paranoid. I and I got all paranoid now. because I just sit here drinking club soda and stuff. So I, f- I figured I'd go in and take a piss just in case. I ran out in the middle of the, when you guys were talking because I felt it in the tip of my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to fucking... I was sitting there playing poker 12 hours straight and never, like, never got up to take a piss. Uh, not once. There have been a couple no. of times in the casino I, I get up. And and I have to, I, you have to get up. You can't concentrate on anything but how badly you have to piss. What, what are and they, again, that's because they're bringing around drinks. Totally. What do they do when you get up? Do they? How do they? The guy next to you steals there. the chips. No, but do they? Do they add your uh, your blinds in? Do if they, you miss your blind, yeah, you, you tend miss. to go between your blinds. You wait. You wait until the dealer button passes you by, and then you. Or if you're a fucking real man, you just never get up. That's true. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Real man. <laughs> you're, you're there to play poker. What the fuck are you pissing for? If you're yeah, pissing fucking, home. If you're a man, you fucking tuck your cock in like Silence of the Lamb and you, you play. <laughs> totally. You just pinch it, man. Pinch it hard. You roll it up like a fruit roll up around or your you middle finger. Or you take one of those bottles just under the table, shuffle them oh, real yeah. close. Does anybody That's ever do good. that? Does anybody ever do that, you think? I don't know. I oh, because you know you never world miss. world of infinite possibility, I imagine somebody has done You never miss and get it on your hands and then have to handle the cards that other people will be handling the next deal. There are rules to poker. I mean, you watch it on ESPN and they just cut, 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 cut because it would be fucking boring watching 18 hours of these guys looking at each other. But there are there are rules to fucking poker. What, pissing? Just, just watching, like a time limit. The fold are there rules boring. to poker? Like, yeah. That's oh, well, amazing. I thought you could just walk over and look at other people's cards and... That's how we play. <laughs> Captain Let's Obvious. Cards. I want to bet, I mean, but I don't know what you have. Other rules than the w- obvious fucking yeah. rules. <laughs> what do you have? Because I really want to bet a lot, oh, but I'm not the, sure if I beat let me, you. Let me, I want to go all in, but let me see the river card. A, yeah. <laughs> Did time, I make my straight? There's a time limit. Like, like, say, if we're playing you and you're just sitting there staring at me, I can call for time or some shit, right? Yeah, but that's like fucking World Poker Tour shit. There's, I, I haven't been in a home game or even like a lot of the games that you play in Vegas or Atlantic City. Well, you know, like uh, uh, the the not the high stakes high stakes game, but you know, playing fifteen bucks shit like that. You you don't sit there for like fucking fifteen minutes like they do on World Poker Tour where millions are at stake. Someone will smack you in the head. Sometimes when people take too long, people are like, come on. The right. fuck? You, you, you either or, you make... chit, or you're chit-chatting with your friends. You don't give a shit. Yeah, you don't care. After, you know, if it, uh, has it ever gone on for more than, like, fucking four minutes? No. No. Totally. I mean, like, it, you know, maybe two minutes, you just turn, you're like, come on, dude, let's yeah. go. Fuck you it. I should have got off the pot. Let me hey, get that one. Should we uh, promote 15 something? 15 bucks. Fucking look, listen to you. Right, man. <laughs> yeah. Just bragging wow. on the air. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. 15. That's one, two is for pussies. Kevin, one, two is for pussies. <laughs> five, five, ten. 510. Yeah. I like that game. 510 good. You get some quality play. When we played last night, we played 1 2 for a long time. We went to 2 4. And then finally, like when we were left with people with stacks, we went 5 10. Yeah, and that okay. game got so fucking quiet. Like, yeah. Before that, it was like, ah, ah, ah. And then suddenly it was just like, fold. Fucking playing the game. Fold, 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 fold. And there's fold. some people sitting around the table who, you know. He raised, he's got a hand fold. <laughs> totally. They donked out and shit. So they were just sitting around talking comics and whatnot. And I, I felt a little bad because finally I was just like, guys, this is a high stakes game. So take the comic talk. Over there. The yeah, I don't want to fucking talk about like can hold feet up thing. I, I want to. I got fucking sixty bucks out there, man. I want to see what's gonna happen. Yeah, this is cash on the line, my friend. I hear you. Should we promote something, Kevin? You've been here for two hours. You got catch and release coming out. Catch and release comes out uh, a week from today. Go see it. You got a girlfriend? Take her to see it. If you don't have a girlfriend, I don't chick know flick? if you want to see it. It is kind of a chick flick. Chick flicky. Jennifer Garner. It's a Jennifer Garner picture, but it's actually it's funny and I'm pretty funny in it. I agree. <laughs> and I'm pretty funny. I'm pretty funny. In it. I bring the funny. I'm the guy. I'm the funny fat guy you can bring identify with. <laughs> Boy, let me see. Big Cav. Hmm. Is he going to give this a bad review? Oh, you saw it? So yeah, I, you, I, can, you can't I offend me. It's I not my picture. You went to Volgathon. Volgathon, yeah. You so I saw it a year me. ago. So. Wow. Uh, you can only offend me if you said my performance was bad. Was my no. performance bad? No, his performance wasn't bad. There you go. You saw this movie a year ago. Yes, sir. Wow. It was actually May. So six months ago. May. Huh? Seven months ago. She was pregnant back. Was it before? She would already dropped the kid. She dropped Previous the kid. December. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Cause she looks pretty good in the movie. Yeah. Well, she, we were shooting while she was... Right before she got really pregnant. She was pregnant in the beginning and the, of, of the show, and then by the time we, we wrapped, she was just kind of um, starting to show a little bit of a belly. What did you, uh, what have you been seeing lately? You guys, I'm Movie sorry, wise. I'm captivated I, by, by Overman. You guys watch Overman at all? I watch it. A couple of times. Yeah. He, yeah. I, 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 maybe it's me. I fucking love that dude's rants at yeah. the end of the show. Like, that dude will go off on the president. He's got a sense of Mr. humor. Mr. President, shame on you. But yeah. it's a real weird, dry sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. 
He's definitely uh, he used to do not the run of the Yeah, guy. that's the weird thing. It's yeah, like he's been doing all this like uh, political um, stuff lately. But you know, he was on ESPN for years. The, the I guess it's the the right easily dismiss him as like, dude, you're a former sportscaster. Right, Shut right, the fuck right. Up. I like him a lot. I like him over Bill O'Reilly. Oh God, yes, O'Reilly. I watch him just to be annoyed, O'Reilly. That's Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert's great. Colbert's when it comes great. To that sarcastic wit. Uh, yeah, but that dude's just playing a character. Yeah, and, yeah. But like really upfront about playing a character. He's so opposite of the character he plays. Yeah. That w the the further right he goes, the funnier it gets because right. you just know that he's not that guy. He's got that Carol O'Connor Archie Bunker yeah. thing going yep. for him, where it, people are just like, if you tune in, don't know anything about the show, you're like, my god, what an asshole this <laughs> yeah. guy is. My god. So we were talking about movies. Uh, any good movies lately? Uh, what have I seen lately? I mean, I've seen everything. Hit me with the flick, and I'll. All right. It. How about that? Uh, I won't bias you with my opinion of it. Uh, was it Children of Men? Children of Men. You know, I mean, uh, d interesting quasi sci fi flick mm -hmm. and well made. Obviously, dude's a really good director, but okay. whatever. There was nothing there. Yeah, at I, the end I, of the I, day. I, I thought. I don't okay. like movies that end with, like, you know, a dude. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. I don't like movies that Wait, end like What's the movie like about, that? though? Because I, I have no clue. Uh, some kind of cataclysmic event. It uh, looked like nuclear war to me. They um, hint at, uh, at, you know, like the, the escalation of where we're living right now right in now, terms right. of, like, uh, terrorism and, and, and kind of uh, the limiting of freedoms and whatnot. And all that's uh, something bad has happened, and all that remains is England. Mm -hmm. England is the only, like, civilized uh, country left. Left a, a quotation marks a civilized. Civilized. They're not quite. You know, and they, uh, for some reason, chicks uh, have lost the ability to have children. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's predicated on a world where, like, uh, in the beginning of the movie, like, uh, the world falls into a hush as the youngest. So you can just dump the, in chicks and nothing happens? That's it. Yeah. But they're not worried about that. The, the, yeah. the weird thing is, and that's I thought was kind of interesting, because you're like... You, you tend not. I have a kid. I don't even think about kids. You no, know? like I love yeah. my daughter, but I'm like, whatever. I got shit to do. But like, you think that <laughs> if there was, if there was no chance or no new children, and and mm -hmm. we were not being renewed, like, would it affect your mood? <laughs> right. Like, because everybody in the movie, there's this melancholy that hangs over. Yeah. Him. The youngest because uh, there's no hope. inhabitant of planet Earth has just died, and he was like 18 years old. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. a big thing. It's yeah, like an 18 year old guy, the youngest. Uh, person on earth died so it was on the news everybody stopped looked at the tvs and they were freaking out about it because i guess it would you know eliminate hope exactly no whatever you're doing at that point in your life then just becomes riding your life out knowing that there's not going to be any future i think that was kind of a cool part of it there was pimp shit like the one dude who had like uh michelangelo's david in his house yeah yeah his, like because i guess the other countries like uh where would where would that be the 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 louvre uh, france yeah. or you know, something like that yeah he was just able to go and poach like these yeah just open the fantastic door. works Let, of art you that can take whatever you want to and, and that now, but there that none. does yeah that would become something that would really mean value. anything That's everything thing. loses yeah, totally. its value when there's no more there's no more people uh -huh. uh, in, 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 in uh, when once the last person dies off and uh that i found interesting right and thought that's a great premise when i watched the trailer i was like wow that's good mm. but then where it went and where it ended i was like what the fuck there was like this thing called the human something what was it the human project the human project what the fuck was it where was it it, it was barely like, it seemed to be this important thing that they just dropped. It's a phantom, like a, what was some people consider a phantom or kind of a mythological program. It's, it's all rumor and hype, but, it, you know, it doesn't exist in the confines of the U.K. Was like, that it? Yeah, it's just like somewhere out there the human project exists, but they never really explained what it was. To kind of give hope to people, maybe, to, that... Something. Like somewhere... It, yeah. I mean, that's you're right. They never really tied it in that much. They just had to get this girl who, I don't think we're spoiling anything, but they find a pregnant girl. And why they, they have, have to, to move get her, her to the around so much? I don't know. You would imagine everybody would be like, right on, let's make her queen. She could have a baby or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, they're like, we got to get her out of why here. Why keep it secret? Why the big... And there are people who are terrorists who are using her, you know, as a political pawn. Yeah. And uh, for some did, reason, did Clive Owen just you know based on the that was the shocking thing, the Julianne Moore thing. Yeah, where you're wow. like, okay, this movie stars Clive Owen, yeah, and Julianne yeah. Moore, and then you're like, right, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> okay, that's pretty that cool. comes out of left field. This sounds really interesting. Yeah, it, yeah. it's it definitely is. you know Up what it's. A, the end, I don't know different. if you want to like get out of your house to go see it, but like by the time it hits DVD, definitely check it out. Right, right. Yeah. But it's it's if you're like, I want to get out, see a movie, escape for a while. There's yeah, escapism there, but you don't. It doesn't really take off in the in the way of like a Friday night yep. flick. 
Yeah. Well, what about can I, thinking man? Mm-hmm. Thinking man sci-fi is what it is. What about yeah. that movie? Uh, it's not out yet, but it's coming out soon. To you, the three hundred. No, oh, based on the comic book? Yeah. yeah. That looks dope, yeah. doesn't it? Looks uh, amazing. I've never seen it. Is that the Fucking, trailer we were that seeing? Trailer. Right there? Yeah. The first day yeah. I saw the trailer, I went, holy, holy shit. Cool. And Patrice was in here, and I go, you got to fucking see this trailer. Who and I showed him, guy? he's like, he was the guy pissed. Directed it? Is this... No, the lead guy, the know, Spartan, Ger- that Ger- guy. Ger- Gerard, Gerard. Uh, Unbelievable, <laughs> man. The guy that did the Dawn of the Dead remake, Zack Snyder, he made this. Yeah. Timeline. Shot it all on a fucking green screen stage. So it had that insane look to it. Yeah. Do you know what he was in? Yeah, that's when does it come out? Going to IMDb. What's his name? Gerard Not something? Smart. something yeah, was he Dracula? Is that Dracula 3000? 2000? Yeah, uh, was he the guy who played yes, Phantom of the Opera? Yeah. Phantom that's of the Opera him, as well? Man. The movie? He it, is a fucking Butler? badass. Gerald Butler? Movie. Is that yeah. it? Gerard something Butler? Like that. He's Gerard a badass. Butler. It That's does one of those awesome, movies. Though. Patrice said, he goes, I want to see this right now. I'm pissed that I can't see it now. And he goes, when I see it, if this fucking movie sucks, he goes, I'm never seeing another movie again. <laughs> it like it because like, the trailer the looks is there. so yeah. fucking. I don't good. think it'll suck, man. At the end of the yeah. day, it's like that movie. I think ultimately delivers on its promise. And the dude who did it, remember everyone was like worried going into Dawn of the Dead. Like, how do you remake Dawn of the Dead? The yeah, dude, yeah. They made a kick-ass fucking really remake. Good. Yep. And now that's yeah. the dude that's going to do The Watchmen, that yeah. comic book. What, oh. what did you see? Um, Independent Film Network was playing it. Uh, film Channel was playing it. Uh, Unknown Mm-mm. called. Five guys or so in a warehouse wake up, and uh, one of them's tied up. They're all fucking kind of beat up, uh, and they kind of figure out through time, uh, through the, uh, the time that goes by, that some of them are hostages, and maybe a couple of them are the people that were supposed to hold them till the bosses get back. But they don't know because there's some kind of gas... Uh, in canisters that fell and kind of wiped out their memory for a short period of time. That's and then slowly cool. the memory starts coming back. It's like a great yeah. fucking little story about who's the bad guy, who's the good guys. and It's a know, real five-hander. It takes they're... place just in a room. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That it's sounds good. good. It's, it's called good. Unknown? Yeah, Unknown. Did you see the movie, cool. the movie High Tension? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that a fucking badass movie? It was badass up until like the illogical ending. Then I was just like, I mean, it was a great looking movie, and and it, it it really delivers until the like the last five minutes where you're like, you're yeah. shitting me. Yeah, a little bit. Right. Like who just, drove the fucking truck? Like sh- shit like that just don't make. Oh, sense. you don't. Just want, the beginning you don't of the movie like though, that. when the guy yeah. is just such a, and he's he's getting head, and you're like, wow, this guy's getting head in a truck, and then he <laughs> takes the head and throws it out the window. You're like, what the oh, fuck? fuck? <laughs> and then when he comes in, the first scene is just amazing he just comes in and just funk and just just kills everybody that, that was frightening the scene where he breaks into the house mm-hmm. it's just it, like it's if every- you're ever where I'm, I'm one of those people who lives in terror of home invasion oh me too this See, is the ultimate God. fucking nightmare Thank God, somebody that. else. These people don't fucking understand. Oh, my Why God. Why don't we Home understand? Are you an alarm guy? Like, make sure it's on every Big all time. the time. Doors locked all the time. If they're coming in the for day. me, they want me and mine. They're going to they gotta fucking, they're gonna have to go through some shit. Oh, there's going to be a battle. Totally. Believe, there's going to be a fucking <laughs> got a moat, battle. Got a moat, crocodiles. Or I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> it's got it all. I, I got, got bats in every up. room. <laughs> I got aluminum bats ready to go and shit. Bats. Father-in-law, I, I got, father I got in stuff with a little more range than bats. Yes. And believe me. I've already. St- I like. I like have uh, things marked out on my I floor. Friggin- I have my fucking house blocked out where I know where everyone's supposed to stand yeah. <laughs> during a gun battle. Anthony, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, you're like we're running a drill. Let's yeah. go. Here we go, drill. He's actually Rainbow Six. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. Get behind me. <laughs> Sneaking around corners. No, but that home invasion shit. Yeah. Because you know. Then don't see this movie, man. You see oh. high tension, you'll just feel like oh, that's yeah. I knew it. Out. That's be- what they do. This because it just bombs up to the door. Honestly, oh. God, it just comes, it's so, like, it brings the doorbell. What's, what do you want? And that's it. And it's just, all, you're like. It kick it in? Or does nope. he, no, no, no person it's, opens it's, the it's door? door? There's one of those, like, uh, not a peephole, but the little door oh. within the door. So you yeah. can open it and yeah. see what's up. And yeah. the dude just kind of gets stabbed that way, reaches in, opens the door. Oh, fuck. The really fucking up part though is and I don't think we're really spoiling anything because there is a big fucking twist at the end of the movie because okay. yeah. right now you're like you know it opens with this dude like, yeah. like if I was saying getting head from a head and you're like oh <laughs> one, one of these fucking misogynistic pieces of shit it's not yeah. But then it's even more misogynistic <laughs> based on the twist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's just like, it's instead of a, women, a you know, the movie that just victimizes women, 
the women are victimized by the movie itself. Based <laughs> on the plot twist. What's yeah. this called now? It's called High, high, high Tension. tension. High but the way the, okay. the, the, the father, the, the guy gets him and then opens it. And just, I mean, nonchalantly opens the door, comes in. The father's crawling up the stairs. He takes his foot and just pushes the father's head through the banister oh, that he doesn't yeah. fit through, but now he's stuck. His head stuck through the the banister. Then he just you know, nonchalantly Don't goes over. Too much. Yeah, this won't. It won't. Is it? But he he gets a bureau and just pushes it and s just flies it across the room and just chops <laughs> the guy's head off. The dude. Wow. Decapitates. And it, and it's uh, like you like this, uh, but it happens. It goes from here to here in like three seconds. You're like, what the fuck? And the dude just looks like he, he runs as this little fucking greasy work truck. It looks like he looks like a locksmith. Yeah, just like the average dude, a little on the grody side and wow. dirt under fingernails, but so calm about it and shit. It's the nightmare. And he's got no aim. It's not like I want money and shit. He's just psychotic. But again, I stress. Gotcha. Yeah. There is a twist. Okay. Yeah. Big uh, twist. Now, now, big big budget movie or big uh, no, kind of no publicity movie. No, yeah, this is French it's film, but it's French. 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 I mean, the next one I'll bring up. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Rocky Balboa. I enjoyed. It. I thought it was okay. Right. I mean, anything better? Anything, anything I is up from Rocky Five? Right. right. It, it, yeah. it actually it is Rocky Rhodes. Five. Mm. That's what it, it is. They should really. It, they the eliminated it, and now that's Rocky Five. Right. In but my eyes, it kind of. You, I think it did away with a lot of the last few. Like Rocky, the original was was a great movie. Uh, the second one was good. I loved the uh, the fucking Clubber Lang shit. Right. That was good, and then it just fell apart. I mean. This one kind of really brought it right back to the first one. Uh, I thought it looked good, too. Totally. Like, he did a good job with the fight scenes. Looked like there was a camera in the ring. And how no, fucked there was. up was it that the, like, the, the uh, hard-pressed to call yeah, her love interest the ring. because she's not, they don't really get a relationship. Yeah, yeah. The female in the movie, the chick in the movie, the lead, uh, the lead. The Adrian character. The Adri yeah, who because apparently he didn't want Adrian You need the Adrian there. character, right? He needs to ice her for the sympathy, but. The it's the chick from the first movie, the little chick yep, he's walking home best. with. She's like, "Hey, Rocky, hey, Rocky, screw you, creepo." Yeah, and like he brings this, not the same actress, obviously, brings this character back. Yeah, fucking twenty, twenty five years later, whatever it is, and, yeah. and like as a major her. part of the movie, totally. his inspiration. And she know? and she had sex with a black dude. Well, yeah, not, which in, was, not in the show. Which not was a, the which movie. was a weird. That was just a weird moment when he well, it showed Rocky that he runs a true Philly fucking Italian guy. He was like, man, totally. He was like, like hey, uh, yeah. I'm the white guy. Oh shit! Yeah. Really? All right, fuck it, I'm Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he banged the black guy. Let's go. It was, it's just <laughs> odd to watch the Rocky character in this one, and then you go back a couple of the like four and five, and he was like. In the suit, the smart Rocky, yes. like the educated, profound Rocky. Right. He wasn't this guy anyway. He's like, you know, regular spoken. And and then he's back to being like, hey, Mick, what are you going to do at a restaurant? But so that was fine. He was back to being the first Rocky. Like It was like flowers for Algernon. <laughs> well, <'cause> like, he, <laughs> fucking, he took the shit, it worked for a while, and then he's back in the fucking hospital. Five isn't the plot line of Five was he all punchy and shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Five, he punchy. got punchy. So that's how they get away punchy. with him being like kind of ridiculous. Yeah. He was less right. punchy in this movie, though, which I thought was great. Because in Five, he was so stupid. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tommy, I'm your giggy. Yeah. This one, he was telling stories at the restaurant. It was more. It, yeah, that was kind of cool. Like, sense. Sense. like sad that. little that was fucking a very thing. sad little poignant kind of like. Everything was in the sad. ring. You yeah. see, the, the people were just like looking at him like, okay, man, we just give me my lasagna. Yeah, the the only, yeah, yeah. fucking fries. Yeah. Enough. Shut up with your stories, Rocky. The only parts I really didn't like about it was kind of, it got a little sappy with the fucking ghost Adrian uh, the, the little ghostly figure there by the stairs when he was kind of imagining they, uh, when they were seeing her yeah like that I was a little like a now. little too sappy for me and then how quickly the sun kind of changed his tune that was the only thing was I thought a little the sun like, storyline yeah like there, well it seems like he split two sun storylines because yeah. that chick little Marie's got a kid that he starts kind of palling around with and then uh -huh. he's got his own kid who for yeah, for reasons unknown, doesn't like his father. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden comes around and, and I don't he kind of came around from one speech that Rocky could have given him like fucking two years ago. Oh, or, like, oh why didn't you say that? Yeah. Like fucking 15 years ago. Like we so could have had a better yeah. relationship. Yeah. It's been great. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I still, I mean, I, I thought I, it was good. The kid, I, I like the kid too. Yeah, I, the I kid's think, performance was it good. It was great, yeah. but he had that lip too. He had the Rocky lip. Mm -hmm. He's got, the, I don't know, there's Give something the going lip. on with, I swear to God, watch TV now. Everybody has a fucked up bottom lip. That comes, there's a lot of people. It's the, uh, 
uh, Carl Spackler uh, that, that everybody's kind of got now. Uh, I'm in the Fort Greene. He's a Cinderella <laughs> boy. Cinderella <laughs> moment. Um, yeah, oh, good. I'm glad uh, you, you thought that was okay because I, I was bashing the prospect of it. Right. And then when I saw it, I was like, you know, I went into it thinking, all right, I'm going to fucking hate this. Mm. And I was like, wow, this is this is pretty good. The totally inspiration, that, that the the montage scene, you get the montage. It's a little and abbreviated the, this time. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. It wasn't as much. I, I still got my dick got hard with the music. When the bong, bong, you get the final da, bell da, and then da, they're da, in da, the da, ring. Da, 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 yeah, yeah. I wanted to go uh, drink uh, eggs. <laughs> I wanted to go drink eggs. Looked like he had a hard time getting that last egg down too. Did you ever? I don't drink? know how many takes that was, but he, they show him drinking the eggs. Not the, as long a scene as the original one. Sure. It's just him gulping down like the last couple in the glass. And he kind of like gags on one a little bit. The original. Oh, oh finally, Bill. Jesus Christ! Wait till we talk about the next movie. He's got the, great timing, doesn't he? The original, the the original Rocky scene when he did that, when he drank, oh, it was yeah. so quiet. It was, it was, you know, you could feel how cold it was outside. Yeah, yeah. The way, oh, it was unbelievable. Now they're actually doing Rambo, Rambo uh, yeah, he's four. Doing now that Rambo could be flick. a problem. <laughs> well, that was part of the deal, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's doing both. But at the end of the day, like, I mean, uh, he made Rocky work. Maybe he can make Rambo work. Yeah. I, I thought Rambo one man was. I mean. At the end scene, that monologue. Mm -hmm. I oh, mean, the first one. Let me tell you something. You, you, as a, if you act in your life, you try to act that scene. Try to delivered that and make it work. When that you was, think Rambo, though, you don't think of the first one. You think of the second one where blood? he's... Yeah, first Where's blood. Where's the monologue from Rambo or from first, first blood? First blood. The, uh, Rambo, the fir at the end. Well, the, there's first blood, which wasn't called Rambo at all. First then there was blood. Rambo 2. First, first blood. Yeah, Rambo first, first blood 2. First blood. Yep. First blood. And at the end of the monologue at the end? At the end of the movie. With Brian of Dennehy. students are auditioning for things going like, I'm going to do the, uh, the monologue from the end of uh, Listen Rambo. to the monologue. Ah. I swear to God, it's a great yeah. monologue. I'm uh, sure it is. It really is. And... He can deliver it. I right. wouldn't be able to do a Johnny. fucking monologue like that. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. Well, that's, <laughs> you know, that, that's part of they it. They don't give it Steve's fucking... It's not like Steve. <laughs> Nothing is over. Nothing. You don't turn it off. Uh, it's a great monologue. Uh, there's a movie called Perfume. Mm -hmm. Art house movie, pretty expensive art house movie, but it, it, I, it's based on this book that I never read, this bestseller about this weird serial killer case, but it's not really a, really a serial killer movie. Most fucked up film I saw all year. Really? Had no idea where it was going. Ends with an orgy. Oh, wow. Totally fucked up. I like, like the one that just twists going. and turns the whole good, time. Like I think it? that's worth watching. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like... Um, uh, I, I wouldn't say that is a Friday night. Like, let's go out. Let's hit this movie, Perfume. It's like a Sunday afternoon. Rain. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, yeah. it's unlike most movies you see where you can kind of call it from 20 minutes yep. out and everything is going to happen, and it's just whether or not it's executed well enough to keep you entertained. This movie t fucking takes so many bizarre turns. You're like, what the fuck is going on? I love those movies. Those yeah. are the best. The, the way they just blindside you like that. And I hate when you do figure those out where it's a real clever twist and you're like, Fuck, I see it now. Right. Shit. And then I'll usually turn to my girlfriend and go, I, I know something. And then I'll, <laughs> I'll grab a pencil and paper and write it down and put it aside. And then the second it happens, I hold it up in front of her face. <laughs> That's a great way to do that. You're there. I knew it. Because how many people go, see, I knew it. You don't well, want to ruin it. Well, well, she me. sits around with her friends and goes, he does this annoying, yeah, annoying, annoying thing. fucking thing. When we're watching movies. Why did write you do that? down. I get little it. Papers. Look, at, look, look at all these little the papers. Right, right. Great. You figured it out. She figured out fucking Sixth Sense. Uh, wow, I didn't. Yeah, before I still that haven't happened. figured it out. I saw Somebody that movie told earlier. me that fucking. There was a friend of mine that worked on uh, that a movie. Friend? And a friend? A year and a half ago told me, uh, before the movie came out, a year and a half prior, told me what it was, told me the ending and shit. And I totally blocked it or forgot because wow. I'm in the theater and I was like, he's fucking dead? That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, wait a second, I knew this. I knew that. Fuck. Someone told me this a year and a half ago. Mm. No, it was a great movie, uh, Stomp the Yard. Did you see Stomp the Yard? <laughs> what? Fucking throw. Jesus stomp Christ. The yard. What happened to you? What are they doing? <laughs> Just stomping the yard. Stomp the yard. Oh, Dude. I'm supposed to know that? I did a college, and okay? Yet it does and those, those guys came out before what me. What are you going to do? The uh, stomp the yard, They're like, dudes? yeah, we're just going to do this thing before you. All of a sudden, like 50, don't, don't, bat the boom, bat. Just come out, 50 of them. The place is going retarded. It's a mostly and black college. nothing you do will be nearly as entertaining. That's oh, a tough act. I'm going to go up there and go, uh, marshmallows. There, there was, 
There was a, uh, uh, of course, I lived in San Juan Capistrano, California, growing up, uh, where the Swallows come back every year, and there was a big parade. Like, it was Swallows Week. It was a week of drunk fucking cowboys, and especially back, it was like the mid-70s. It was still very equestrian, very small town kind of thing, mm. and the parade was like covered wagons, and you'd fucking ride your horses. Very cowboy. Well, they brought in the fucking from Compton, Jeez. the Soul Street Stompers, they were called, and that's what they did. They fucking stomped. You never saw a bunch of fucking rednecks watching this with that butthead look on their face, where butthead's mouth would just be open like, uh. They had no clue how to react to this. I think some of them just wanted to unload like it was an ambush. <laughs> But the, they would have shot family that was across the street. <laughs> the only reason this didn't happen. Keep but, stamping your feet. Just stay away from our women. Yeah, stay away from our women. And, but but that, I didn't realize it was that old, that craft, if you want to call it that, stomping the streets, stomping the yard. It's, 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 it's unfucking unbelievable. It scares the shit out of you. Yeah, and really it just tough. goes, whoa, and they just go nuts. I, the place just gets, I mean, it really brings an energy up in the room that's just, you can't match can't it. Follow. We got mixed dick feelings jokes, about it, man. Jokes. It's entertaining and shit, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't like watching people do shit I can't do. Yeah, why, 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 why I would I want to do that? for that reason. I, I don't want to <laughs> see that. Watch people, especially like you watch gymnastics, and you're like, who knew a human body can do that? And I can't even and fucking get I, that I high without fucking, a... I don't want to get up to take a piss. You're like, I've never even tried. It's like, they're totally. getting up that high just by running and jumping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can't fucking reach a goddamn thing yeah, totally. up on a shelf. Yeah. And I'm like, can you grab me a glass of water while you're in there? Like, <laughs> yeah. I won't get up and shit. Hey, Kevin, what did you think of King of Scotland? Uh, last King of Scotland, I thought uh, he was fantastic. I love and the movie, the movie is good, but he is fantastic. Yeah. Like, he elevates that. He's going to win the Oscar, don't you think? I mean, I think he might for best actor. Mm. He seems like the the man to beat. I mean, he just won the Golden Globe. Yeah. I don't know about the film itself, though. I don't no, even think I, I, get his nominated. performance was amazing. It was though. fantastic. What about but, like, you sit there going, like, you felt bad for the dude who played the doctor mm -hmm. because the movie's supposed to be about him. About him. You're fucking so fascinated by Edie, I mean, and, and uh, Forrest Whitaker's performance yeah. that he is the whole picture. He was fucked. Earth, up. wind, and fire for Edie, I mean, and little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I can love. That. I can't get that out of my head that he's just from, from Fast Times at Ridgemont. Right. Yeah. Hey, what, what the, what? What? You're what, keeping it up nicely. What, yeah. movie, <laughs> what movie wins the Oscar this year? Um, in my opinion, what do I think? Yeah. We'll write it down on a piece of paper. We'll see if you're. Right. I know. I'll do the. I'll do the the fucking Anthony where I write it down. A couple write it down and shove it in front of Hold it up in front of my wife and I check it out. It. She's like, Son what of a bitch. She was right. Fucking. Um, I don't know. I mean, for me personally, I I love The Departed. Mm -hmm. I think that should win. But yeah, it was good. But the Golden Globes, they kind of gave the, the um, which is a weird bellwether because they have two separate categories: comedy, right. musical, and right. drama. Comedy, musical, they gave to, gave to Dreamgirls, and then drama, they gave to Babel. And I just don't see either of those movies really Winning being the, the contender thing. for the Academy Award. Departed was one of those movies that you at the end you're kind of like, all right, what 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 just happened? <laughs> it, it just ends with a series it, of deaths. Yeah, you're like, you didn't well, think that. Wait a minute, what the fuck? That just summed it all up. I, I kind of didn't like the end. It was just like, all right, let's just wrap this up now. Uh, oh, I loved it. I I, it I've cool. watched that movie fucking uh, nine times now. Wow. Wow. Because I got the, like, the Academy screener and shit, so mm -hmm. I saw it in the theaters, and I saw it when I went and did um, Ebert and Roper. I sat in for mm -hmm. Ebert, and that's the first time I saw it. When I, once I got my screener, oh, I remember that's my go-to movie on that one. now. Yeah. Did you hear that Jack Jack Nichols, and this, I guess it may be a rumor or something, but somebody saying Jack was every day just bitching on the set uh, to Martin uh, Scorsese, you wouldn't hire me. You wouldn't hire me. You never gave me a job. And he was just really? he was just a dick on set to him because he he never would give him a job back in the day. But I guess the people backing wanted Nicholson in this movie. So. I can't somehow I can't see that right. Being true. Uh, you hire I mean, you're Jack Nicholson. I, why are you bitter anymore? Yeah, why would you be bitter? You're like, first fuck of all. it. I was the Joker. I made five hundred million dollars. <laughs> but it's true. Bob Kelly's an expert. That's true. He I'm, a, I'm a doctor, I and I'm also an expert in Bob. And, uh, hey, uh, let's go to Amanda in Michigan. Amanda. Hi, Anthony. Anthony, I love you guys. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, Kevin, I love bought Sports 2. Never seen it before. I loved it. Um, the commentary, I enjoyed it. I um, I enjoyed the intro to the movie. I thought that was really nice that you that you did it. It made me. More excited to watch the movie and more excited for you. Um, I enjoyed the little bit about Pole Camp, but all in all, 
was a good movie, and everyone, thanks for making me laugh. All right, okay. Amanda, All right. thank you. Thank That's you, great. Amanda. You'll never get better extras than you do with uh, Kevin's too. movies. Yeah, no, it's like all of them. I love the fucking... The commentary is good. It's not this too cool for the room fucking commentary. It's funny shit. Like you, you usually turn on commentary and you're like, all right, I want to learn about the movie a little bit and stuff. But uh, the, the, you guys are really funny. Yeah, you'll learn nothing. And you get these extra. You learn nothing. <laughs> you guys will go off on tangents and be like, I thought they were going to discuss this part of the movie, <laughs> yeah. and they're all talking about some night they were hanging out or something. Well, now the trick is those great. things like I don't even put the fucking headphones on whenever we sit down <laughs> to the commentary. I'm like nobody put headphones on because otherwise great, yeah. you lapse into the movie. Right. And it gets quiet. It gets quiet for a little bit. So you now you the headphones talking. off. You're just having a two-hour conversation. And then also like outtakes and clips and mm. shit like that. You guys. Again, n not afraid to look fucking silly. No. Or well, I overcompensate, sir. Got a it's small thing, so I pack my DVDs full hey, of tons it, of extra. They're packed. <laughs> <laughs> I got to jump in. We have, a, we have a scheduled voiceover session. What? They're calling us from L.A. and Boston's involved. It's Holy big shit. Thing. So do you do it on air or is the show over? We point? should. No, we got to go. I mean, if you want to stay and do we something. do it on the air. <laughs> no, oh, right. so, we, so, thought, so we can okay. then critique it later <laughs> on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> <Kevin>. After <laughs> what you did to Dee Dee, that he kind of ass raping, I'm not interested. whipped it by, on his ass by some fucking guy. And so <laughs> did, did you see Ghost Rider yet? <laughs> what happened? Not yet, no. But we I'm going to sit in for Eber again and so I'm going to see it the first week of February. They redid the trailer for that. It looks better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original trailer uh, I wanted to throw up. Fuck, they canceled it. I mean, uh, good news, they canceled hey, the good. Uh, voiceover. That was, a, that was a real, like, breaking news, we gotta go. Wait, here's a second post-it. I think we might be late, We're actually. We're not going. Pretty really. good. Well, what, was the line at, uh, what was the line at the end of the... Uh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob. The the line at the end when she was like, uh, "You gonna fuck me?" and she goes, "Oh, see, she goes something like that." And then he goes, "No, seriously, you gonna fuck me?" <laughs> yeah. That had to be. I I I I laughed fucking out loud in the theater. That was awesome. That was one of the not? funniest that lines. Are we gonna fuck or not? <laughs> yeah. No, because we're gonna fuck or not. And then she laughed like giggling, and you're like, "Oh, it's gonna end cute." And he goes, "No, seriously." Are we gonna fuck? Are we gonna fuck or not? I was like, "What?" He's a funny dude. It's fucking beautiful. He heard it the first time you said it. I nice thought, "Wow, yeah. you're a fucking." <laughs> oh, Anthony's a fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah, well, we're tired. We're tired. Hey, we're, you guys, we've been out this five and a half hours. Yeah, you guys, Anthony gets jealous. You fucking this little Isaiah Washington story. Yeah, who do you believe in this one? Melting down. Uh, well, who's this dude on TV? He's, he's, very he's a gay expert. Wow, yeah, yeah. apparently. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all the Grey's like Anatomy just beard. Just yeah. that beard in yeah, right, right before they What went. the hell would he be called? Apologizes. Well, you know what he did? He got up and said That's something a lady like, boy right there. I, a lady I never, boy bear. He yeah. was talking about somebody. I don't know who he was talking about, but he said, I never called and then said his name. It's the dude in the that show, that, that dude, yeah. uh, I guess, who, because of the whole incident, wound up saying, yeah, I, I guess what, I'm gay. But... It was it was a story from a while ago, and then it went. He quiet. said, "I never called him a faggot." Well, but the problem is, the ABC thought the whole thing was done. Right. Yeah. Like this guy said, he said it. He had to he had to come out of the closet. They talked to everyone behind the scenes. It was supposedly over. Now at the Golden Globes, he jumps on mic and goes, "I never said he was a faggot." And ABC's like, "What the fuck?" Faggot. I thought we figured. I, I thought we took care of all. And this. that's the thing. Like when you read the story in the in print, it's uh, and he, they give his quote, but it's F. Asterix, asterix, yeah. asterix, and right. then T. They they don't even print it, and it's like you're just no. reporting what some dude said. Right. Yeah, why can't you? Yeah, write why it? can't you just write what he what he said? But anyway, yeah. So he went up there apropos of nothing, or maybe somebody asked a question that kind of led him to it. Not but, really. It came out of nowhere. Do really on the Golden Globe? So him just and but not he but not really on did. the show, but it was uh, backstage, right, doing press or something. Yeah, doing the press backstage. Because I don't think you jump in there to stage. present. And you're yeah. like, first off, I never called anybody uh -huh. a faggot. Right, but that right. Echo. <laughs> Best supporting actor nominees are. But uh, it just yeah, he dredged it all up again. Why bring yeah. it up? It's he's like he's out. Of, he's a little crazy. That guy's a little out of his mind. I guess you, you so. can tell. You can tell he's a little. Uh, he you know he's got those wide thousand yard stare. He's a little out of his mind. Yeah. And why would yeah. you do that, man? Like you're on a fucking hit show. I know. Like don't don't, don't be the David show. Caruso where you're like I'm gonna go leave. Oh, you know, did you say <laughs> don't David, say Caruso. David Caruso. Caruso? Where's our David Caruso line of the day? He's got the corner on this dirt bag, Martin. He's also got quite a little business on his hands. Yes, he does, Frank. He also has murder one. Did you see that, you, that YouTube oh, clip? Oh, yeah, that's what got us hooked on that. It. It's fucking yeah. genius. That's what got us hooked on I watched on it this. the other day, man. It's like eight minutes long, and you're like, oh, my God, he does it every episode. You watch every <laughs> second of it. The line, the delivery, the glasses, and then the exit, stage left, even. Yeah. <laughs> he's just out of frame. He's gone. But I'm that, gone, that, that YouTube short is made by the... Yeah! 
<laughs> after yeah. each one. Oh, after each the one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> and now I see it on. It's on A and E. And uh, every time it's on, I have to catch the beginning because I just want to see him deliver that line. He does half of line I, and then finishes the thought. The line. And then leaves. What we have here, Frank, is murder one. <laughs> yeah! And then off, off, out of frame. I can't remember, and we've talked about this a thousand times, but I can't remember him being that bad. I, but I think the YouTube collection, the compilation, is what nails it home. But I've been watching... I think you the, watch the, the show, and I think if you were just watching CSI, yeah. you might not have really picked up on it, but once they put it all together in a neat little package for you, yeah. Yeah. suddenly it calls it to your attention, so never the watched next it. time you watch the show, you're like, oh, I guess you never watched it. it until I saw the, the montage it, Well, there. it also plays differently, because the adultery thing is the beginning of the big intro with right. the boats and the sunset and everything else, but now it's like just a... You know, it's the stinger after his one-liners now. His, it stings. The stinger. <laughs> it stings. The glasses on or off. He was so good off. in Mad Dog and Glory. Remember him in Mad Dog and Glory? It was a great movie. That was great. Such a great fucking movie, and he's really good in it, too. He was good in, um, what's that movie with uh, Sean Penn, too, that Irish movie they did in Hell's Kitchen? Um... Uh, State of Grace? Yeah, wasn't he in that, too? No. You sure? <laughs> oh, that was Ed Harris. Sorry. Ed, Ed Harris. Harris. Jeez, you mixed up Ed Harris? And what's his name? Gary Oldman. A redhead and Gary Oldman. Guy. He was in, uh, I just, what did I rewatch Holy fairly crap. recently? Uh, New Jack City, and he was in that. Yeah. David oh. Crusoe was in that, too. Wow, was he? Apparently, David Crusoe's in, in First Blood. He's a dude that oh, right. stabs in yeah, the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's true. Yeah. He was a pussy Early in that role. movie, too. Yeah! <laughs> he was a real oh, pussy. Oh, you stabbed me. In the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, it's time to start our weekends. Yep. You got stabbed in the ass. The question, Frank, <laughs> is am I a poo puncher? Yeah! <laughs> a poo puncher. Oh, man. <laughs> what was that party slob? Bottom. Sloppy Party Bottom. Sloppy yeah. Party Bottom. That's a great bottom. name for a CD, isn't it? There it's was a, a rumor going it's around. Probably a name on Whack Bag already. Probably yeah. not a, uh, probably no truth to it whatsoever, but there was mm -hmm. a rumor going around. Out in Hollywood after the Reese uh, Witherspoon Ryan Philippe divorce, that that had something to do with it. That he was a, oh. a closet sloppy party bottom. Wow! And I think it was just one of those rumors that somebody started because they're like, wouldn't that be fantastic? Yeah. <laughs> like if that dude was like, because I guess he's kind of like the ultimate twink. Like he's he's <laughs> gay dudes really like that guy. Wait. But I don't think there's any truth to it. I don't know. As far as I know, that dude loves pussy. How do you start a rumor? Why don't you just that simple? You, 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 what you do is you throw just something out it. there that's just like. Mm, could be true. It could, it could happen. Never, totally. said, yeah, but it's like one guy has to throw it out. How does it then spread Listen, to 300 million we, people? Internet, we stand, we, Internet. Yeah. We stood in front of the AMC in uh, the theater in, the, in Times Square, me and Dan Cook, and we would just go, you can't believe Michael Jackson hung himself. <laughs> As people walk by, oh, you do and you that? can yeah. see, we've done that again. You can see yeah. people going, Michael Jackson hung himself, just walking down the street. Oh, that's good, yeah. No, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, Jimmy does that in the elevator. He'll like uh, when somebody gets on the elevator and he's stepping off, he'll say something about the president. Man, did you hear about uh, the gunfire and? What did Kenny oh, do man, walking that's... through first class on one of our flights recently? Oh, yeah, he was talking say? about the. Did you hear the president's been shot? Did yeah. you hear the president's been shot on a plane? He's he walking said, by oh and he like says Kenny. that to us as he goes to his seat, and everyone turns around like, "What? What did he? That's what? illegal." <laughs> uh, just joking. Oh, oh where? Why are you taking me off the aircraft? That's that's <laughs> golf All right. Uh, Catch and release a week from today. Catch and release comes out next Friday. Go see it. If you bring a girl. It's a, it's, you'll, you know. I'll check it out. You'll get laid. Absolutely, I'll check and it out. And Clerks 2 on uh, DVD. On DVD. Clerks what do you 2, as always, on, we kicked out. ass on DVD. That's yeah. where we kind of thrive the best, though. Yeah. What did you play in the movie, the movie that's coming out? What do you play? I play the fat, funny friend that would have been Jack sloppy, Black if he wasn't too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I played the sloppy party bottom. You're a sloppy party bottom? <laughs> I wish, sir. I, if I was a sloppy party bottom and shit, my, career, my acting career would take off. People would be like, what a brave choice. <laughs> 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 how did you, how did you uh, research this role? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot of in cum. the credits, it's a yeah. sloppy pot of money. Sloppy party. You can't even you, uh, say it. I'm so fucking funny. exhausted. You I know. fucking cut. You're all over me. SPB. Back up. I'm, I'm not all over We're just you. All tired and need to go home now. Wow. Big Kev. Uh, Big Apple Con today and tomorrow. Go to BigAppleCon.com. Do you have a? T are you rocking a table there? I am. Yes. Or, oh, no interviews. Uh, I'm gonna see. If You're gonna say. Yeah, because yeah, his interviews, the greatest interviews ever. Do they all end with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they should. They should. They're very short, very to the point. Are you got? Where are you with your MySpace? Uh, How many friends you got? I have 
Boy, I forgot. You were the bar for me for a while. When I first joined, I was like, man, how do you get that many friends? Got to get that many. Now? You bailed on it for yeah, the most part, right? Have you really? Don't do it that much? No, I, I haven't updated it in a while. Um, I, we've been traveling a lot, and I know you could still reach uh, that internet thing uh, <laughs> yeah. away That's on the road. the last road, thing you want to do But I was road. like kind of you know, fucking busy. Yeah. And then you get to the point where you're like, uh-oh, now I got a lot of fucking things. A friend approval. I only have do. 27. I, I have 27,000. No, 27, you don't. All right. I got 26. 20. Do you? I get no way. I haven't answered anything. 26,000? I haven't yeah. signed up new 147,000. Fuck. Yes, sir. Yes. Wow. Uh, what, how many does uh, Dane have? Uh, a Dane. million and a half. <laughs> yeah, that's who's been. That dude Dane's practically ridiculous. created MySpace. I know. Yep. Yeah, he invented That dude MySpace. is not ever. I mean, must go out and it must be just like getting on a bus and be, telling everyone on the bus, join MySpace. Yeah, that's it. Everybody. He, I can't, so I can't get up, that shameless, man. Except I will here. The real Kevin Smith. Backslash the real Kevin Smith. <laughs> oh, you, you have <laughs> MySpace.com slash the real Kevin Someone Smith. Someone has Kevin word. Smith? Who has yeah. Kevin Smith? Before I got there, were like multiple You Kevin can get Smiths. it. How? You got it. I don't it. want him, man. I've got you my 147. You got I don't want to rock the boat. Good. The real over. Kevin Smith. I don't, don't want to have to start over. 1.7 mil. Opie, you're not even on it, right? No, I can't. I had to. I had an Opie for a while. I thought it was you, but then I realized he was actually. I think we finally shut him down. There was a fake Opie out there. It was a fake me. He was being nice back. I was using an Opie. <laughs> yeah, that's what you can tell. I've been nicer, Bob. No, you're great. I mean, but on the, if I was bugging you on MySpace, you'd be like, enough. What are you promoting? We're going to go home now. Uh, Atlanta, Punchline, uh, February 1st, the 3rd, and uh, I'm going to be on Jimmy Kimmel next week, uh, Thursday night. Thursday. Oh, do you guys literally go home? No. Or do you have work to do here? I don't think we have anything home. to do today, right? Not after yeah, that. Yeah, we're, we're fucking, so out. That's uh, a cush gig right can, there, man. Oh, get my truck, please. We're so out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, rest. it's always a pleasure. Kevin Thank Smith, you. everyone. Yes. Yeah. See you guys later. Always a pleasure. Very interesting. That it? You're supposed to end on the applaud, okay. I thought. That was really anticlimactic. Yeah, you look like you're lost in thought, sir. Now we're just trying to figure an out. An out? Yeah. An out? All right. An out. Oh, the, per right. Uh, the perfect out for the show. Yeah. Um, no, uh, calls, maybe be, a one. Yeah! Oh, all right. All right. Well, Let's well. see if I could find that. All right. Ah, uh, this might take a while. Ah, uh, Sam? Sam? <laughs> I need help, Sam! I need help, Sam! Fucking Anthony. Like fucking... There we go. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, have a good weekend. All right. Um, uh, we'll be back Monday. Okay. With a brand new show at 6 o'clock. So, Frank, we'll see you on Monday. That was perfect. Awesome. Great out. All right. Should have actually hit it. But see you later. <laughs> see, now, oh, now we, we got to do something else. Oh, that was kind of bad. That didn't really pan out. No. Yeah, How about... <laughs> Send it like that. Oh, they could have saw your face. Like it was very perfect. mysterious. That's more cliffhanger. Just say something they have to tune in Monday for. <laughs> yeah, tune in. Uh, Monday, uh, guy uh, dies uh, from drinking orange juice. Amazing. Uh, Kevin, help us out here. Give us an out. Uh, uh, good luck with your weekends. If you're heading down Sloppy Party, uh, sloppy party <laughs> Bottom Way, make sure uh, you get a little Metamucil rocking to, uh, by 4 o'clock this afternoon so the first show of the day cleans you out good. That's good. Makes you nice and smooth. Goddamn rich cunts. <laughs> I kill rich cunts. What is that? What is that from? That is... <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> that is from... Um, what movie is that? Death, Death Wish. Death, Death Wish. Wish. Yeah, Goldblum. Death from the Wish. The first one. That's Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum in one of his uh, early roles. <laughs> one more as time. As a young thug, he's wearing a Jughead type hat, and he is beating uh, uh, the the wife of uh, what's his name there, Death Wish. Boy, Charles I can't Brunson. fucking think today. Charles Brunson. Charles, Charles Brunson. Yeah, he's beating his hey, wife. Ellie. Hey. They call him. I Monica. dig. I dig. And. Uh, He's beating his his wife's face in, and he adds this little tidbit in. Goddamn rich cunt! I kill rich cunt! Be and, afraid. Be very said, afraid. Yeah. They were thugs, and they were the worst-looking bunch of thugs. It was like anyone could take this crew. Was it a, Was it also a rainbow coalition of thugs? Yes, it was. A yeah. bit of a rainbow. Wait, you get Jeff Goldblum in there, and a black guy, a Hispanic guy, an Asian <laughs> guy, Benetton Ed. How come, how come criminals up. can get along? I don't know. In movies or old TV shows and movies, they can get along. <laughs> I got her out. What is it? Oh, thank God. Thanks to used...
Used lad bag. Used um, lad bag. From Boston. This is our out today. Thank you, Kevin Smith. Thank you, sir. The movie's called Catch and Release, a week from today. This is our out. He's rubbing his hands. Nothing you have ever seen before and nothing you have ever heard before will prepare you for the shock of... My baby is black. Now, the motion picture screen reaches its full maturity in this dramatic, bold story never before told on the screen.